Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop stream, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today we are playing through Marvel Champions. It's Friday. What's up, Terrence? How's it going? Oh, Terrence, I am so excited. I've been thinking about Marvel Champions all day. I don't know what it is. It's not just today. Really? I think, I think I'm is getting... it just because of the break last week or... I think I'm getting vacation? pumped up for Gem Con because no, I haven't had a break. Actually, I played three games with my daughter. I was talking about one of them with the chat before you got on. Um... One of them, I lost turn one to Thanos. We didn't lose turn one. I lost turn one. Uh, he attacked me, and then he got another attack on me. And I was, like, and I had already defended the first one. And he got a that boost card that's uh, one boost plus draw another card. And, of course, it was a three boost. So he hit me for, like, seven on the second attack. Uh, and I was playing Gamora, and I had nine health. And, uh, yeah, that, that didn't go well. It didn't go well at all, so I died turn one. Nice. Yes. But, uh, yeah, no, no. So I've actually played quite a bit of Champions over the last week. I don't know what it is, man. I think it's Gen Con coming up. So uh, anybody who's going to be at Gen Con, please let us know, either in the comments here or better to join the Discord. And we've got a Gen Con chat there where I'm going to basically keep you updated where I am. Thursday's a pretty busy day for me. Actually, 10 a.m. on Thursday. Uh, Fantasy Flight has invited us to their booth, and we're going to be playing the new Mutant Genesis. So it's kind of a media, like, first look um, at Mutant Genesis. So I'm super excited to try that one out. Um, and you're coming with me, Terrence. Yeah, I, you know, I, I feel like I've only seen those from, like, the Team Covenant and other videos. So it'll be, nice. it'll be interesting to see it on the other side of that camera, I guess. Yes, well, I don't think I'm recording it, but we'll be playing. I, I think they, they did when they did, uh, when because I feel like the last Gen Con event was when Marvel Champions was announced at Gen Con, right? And we haven't had one since. So I think that was like the big one where they announced it and they got to like play it and videotape it and stuff. So that was cool. Nice. Well, um, I will. we will certainly let you know. So uh, we'll do it live here on the stream channel. I'm sure, Terrence, you'll join us for our Gen Con uh, post-game recap sometime, uh, not next week, because next week is Gen Con, which, by the way, means we're not streaming next Friday. But uh, the following week, probably like Tuesday, is usually the day we record the podcast. So probably have you and Jerry on, and uh, we get to uh, recap Gen Con. Certainly talking about that Mutant Genesis, because that'll be probably the first game we play. Yeah. Are we going to talk about it on our next stream? Yeah, why not? I mean, I don't think we'll play it unless they give us permission to. Uh, hey, look, they give me a copy of it and they tell me I can stream it. We'll stream it next week. I don't or not next week, the week after. I don't care. Well, if they give you a copy of it, that that's just like you're going to scan those cards, I guess. Yeah, I'll just scan them all in. I've done it before. That would not be the first time I've done it. Um, it's, just, it's just a lot more cards, I guess, if you're scanning decks plus encounters settle down terrence i'm gonna do what i gotta do i don't only have to do one encounter a week right so that's not that bad sure so and we'll the see comic book hey man settle down terrence you're 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 stop stop throwing ice water on me i haven't even we haven't even started yet tonight you're already throwing ice water what's going on uh well i'm in my new house which is why we didn't stream that other week so new yep. place but we streamed last week, so it's all good. We played these same two characters last week, although we did pre-cons, which you're not... Uh... It, was, it was it was two weeks ago, wasn't it? Because was I was it? traveling last week. Yeah, it was two weeks ago, and that was the last stream from my old house. Got it. Was that... Okay. It, I, I streamed, and then the next... Yeah, and then basically I moved on Sunday. Well, see, I'm not even looking at you, Terrence. I don't even know what you got going on back there. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, yeah. I see the ram in the background. He's kind of peeking out over your shoulder. Got one eye show in there. Um, it's, it'd be real yeah. small for the chat, but I got it. Yeah, I got it. Up full. Well, he's on the ground. Yeah. 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 No more bed behind you. No. All right. Well, let's get going. We're uh, doing our sinister six. Uh, <laughs> Wasteland. Uh, Mary says there's no goat. No, it's there. Um, it's behind me. It's like right here. It's just on the floor and I don't have a bed that's propped on. Yeah, so Victor says he'll probably pick it up Monday. Is it coming out that th this early, or is this just like a sneak preview? He might be talking about uh, Horrified. Oh, oh, Horrified. Oh, that's right. 
Yeah, they were talking about. I, uh, I I think I think uh, Mutant Genesis is slated for September 30th or something. Uh, okay, so we still got plenty of time, but they've clearly got it made. So who knows? Maybe. Yeah, but I don't think they have it. I think that's like airshipped, like demo copy kind of stuff. Sure. And they don't have it like in mass distribution until they got like whatever the select few copies that they pulled out, like they did for other stuff, but. Yeah, uh, Brant asks who's going to be at Gen Con. That's what we've been talking about. We're going to be at Gen Con, both Terrence and I, Brant. So bring your Marvel Champion stuff. We have a uh, we're going to get a sneak peek, early view of Mutant Genesis. Uh, we have something scheduled with uh, with Fantasy Flight. So uh, yeah, check it out. But that's enough about Gen Con because I don't want to make people uh, like you know who aren't going sad about who it. aren't going. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You know what? It happens. Wait, where's the last villain here? Isn't there supposed to be another villain? What happened to that? This, this one over here. How did that happen? What did you do, Terrence? I didn't what, do anything. What did you do? You showed up and a villain disappeared. <laughs> uh, we got uh, Ortiz with a random question. What's the name of the game that Game Trays is coming out with, if I spelled that correctly? Um, I have no idea. Does anybody, If anybody in the chat knows, uh, go ahead. I do not know. All right, but let's... Uh, do a little bit so you're doing uh spider ham protection your goal is to take as little damage as possible but still take damage to get counters i'm assuming uh i think i just have stuff around uh web warriors because you run the te three team building and then uh trying out the new protection cards so spider tingle that does one so like player player based uh self pain self-inflicted pain nice Spire Tingle and Flip Flip, right? Yep. Yeah, no. Flip Flip's awesome. <laughs> Mary uh, says confirmed that scenario, Terrence right? is a villain. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but I, I concur. Um, Yeah, no. So mine is Justice. Uh, I do have some Web Warrior stuff, too. So we'll have some, uh, like, hopefully double webs of Web of Destiny. Can we even do that? Web of Life and... No, it's unique. It's unique. Uh, okay. All right. Well, one of us will have whoever gets it first will have it, I guess. Um, and and that'll be okay. The other person will have a resource. All right. Um, I drew. Ooh, what did I get? I got my plus attack card. Ooh, what did I get? I got my uh, ready my spider suit card, and I got web of life and destiny <laughs> and ghost spider all in my opening hand. Ah, uh, well. Ghost Spider's going. Do you want me to put Web of Life and Destiny down? I don't know if I can with these two resources, actually. It's these... free for you, isn't it? It's free, but then I got to pay three more resources or five more resources. I, it's your cards. call. I, I don't. It doesn't matter to me. We don't need it this early, right? I'll let you put it in. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm drawing. Uh, two do, I, other do, I, do I start start off with with whip? Is that is that the? I mean, nobody's mad about that. By the way, I just got Spider Command also. <laughs> it's another draw of my first hand, which is uh, what's this one? Uh, do 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 do. Exhausted. Oh, this is the one that lets me draw a card or discard a card from my hand to uh, ready an interface upgrade. I may actually not even play that the first time through my deck since I have two of these tech upgrades in my hand. It's kind of hard. We'll see what I draw with my extra two draw. Would you want to go first or you want me to go first? So we got Doc Ock going first, who's attacking for two. Hobgoblin going second, attacking for one. Do you have a preference? Oh, yeah. are you just going to stun two of them? Uh, we'll see. I, I have some expensive attachments in Silk, which seems like the priority. Oh, you got to put out Beagle and you got to put out the Hammer. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough turn one. So you're probably also not, uh, <laughs> not flip flipping. Which is fine. Do you want to go first or second? I can go first if you All want. Right. I don't know if you care. I don't care, but while you're going, I'm going to go ahead and exhaust my uh, tech interface. So that's with my maintenance alter ego, exhaust the spider suit to draw two cards. Yes, please. I'm going to exhaust the daily beagle after I played it with energy. Gain encounter. Look uh, at you. Starting with two encounters. Two encounter. Um... Man, what do I play? Brent's giving me a hard time already for discarding uh, Web of Life and Destiny. I mean, I just got too many other good cards to play turn one. I, I'm not going to have the res. Well, I know it's free, but I need the card to play as resource, I think. 
Um, I mean, do I? Do I? And Brand. I mean, I feel like I. I feel like I really want Silk, right? Or do I not? Go for it, Silk or the Hammer. I mean, either of them is fine. Turn one. I mean, are you going to get rid of Shadows of the Past so nobody gets to drink? I mean, I've been drinking this whole time, so. I mean, we could not get rid of it if you want. We can get rid of it. I'm all right with that. So do Silk and then do Hammer next turn. I'm okay with that. Do I do... I mean, I could Thwip Thwip as well instead. No, I would I would do Silk instead. Uh, it's your call, man. Your call. Whip costs one because I would get a tune counter back, right? Why would you get a tune counter back? Because it damages me. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's pretty good. And then so you can hold this, Silk this. and your hammer and basically yeah. only get to play one next turn? No. I feel like I do this, right? Play Silk. Because we're going to kick ourselves if like Shadow comes out on top. Hold on, hold on, right? hold on. Why don't you do it the other way around? Why don't you hold that counter? And play flip flip first, then you get the counter back. And can't you still play silk? How does that work? No, I don't have enough, right? Like, oh, either way, you don't have enough. Like, if I do this and this to play flip flip, I get one back, but then I'm stuck with silk and hammer, so I have to choose which one to play. And yes. at that point, I would play hammer. Oh, you would? Oh, okay. Like, right. like, if you're holding silk and hammer, right? Like, you would probably play hammer. Yeah, it's tough. I don't know. Like, like, do what? Do you? We don't care about shadows. That's fine. That's also an option. And then we have two stuns out. Yeah. Your call, man. All right. Sure. Let's do it. Whip, whip. So which two are you stunning? Akin Hobgoblin or Akin Scorpion? Because Scorpion's just painful. Scorpion seems worse, right? Of course. Yes. But you know Ak's going to punch right. me now, which isn't wonderful. No, it's not. Because he doesn't attack on mine, so he's going to attack you because I've replaced the attack. That's what I said. He's going to attack me now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. I'm not happy about that. You got you got, you got, you got the HPs, right? Oh, I mean, I, I have hit points. 14. Yes. You have more than me. <laughs> That's true. I don't want to get punched, though. You do. <laughs> That's your thing. You get punched, sir. You get punched. Uh, I guess I'll thwart two off main, I assume. Uh, how much do I thwart for? I, I mean, I, I well, I won't even thwart. I won't do anything turn one. So yes, you should probably thwart for your two. Wait, you didn't. You should have a tune counter, right? Or oh, no, you I used, used it. A hammer. To play hammer. Got it. I assume thwarting is more important than killing, but do you well, want to at kill? this point, it is. No, at this point, thwarting is more important. I mean, if we kill one, it's worth four threat so there's that by the way on expert i never realized this but you have to add two threat whenever you do ambush yes we did do that in our campaign for i know worth. i just i'd forgotten that was a thing so killing them doesn't seem as valuable right because if you kill them all yes you remove seven but then you can add two back on so it's really only like you're removing I mean, five seven's a ton though yeah i mean the goal is to get down to one of these people at you know and and then figure out what to do from there <laughs> like just so they don't all add their attacks together or whatever and just crush you in one attack uh so are you done over there yep all right so i'm flipping i don't think i can play spider command let's see so i got one resource two resources so good, isn't to play it? that but i don't know that i have the resources um oh yeah hold on so if i do one two i will have the resources i play this then I do one, two, three. I play this, and then I exhaust that to play Spider Command. All right, that all worked out. Yeah, that's why I couldn't play Web of Life and Destiny. But, Brant, since you joined us late, um, Terrence has one in his deck too, so we both have them. We didn't like build around one of us having it, so we, we've got options. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy getting my plus two attack and my ready spider suit out on turn one. Uh, and... Spider Command, that's that's pretty good turn one. I think I'm not great with Spider Command at this point. I never know when I want to draw a card or when I want to, like I don't know. I don't I don't feel like I'm great with it. I don't feel like I use it to its max, um, capacity. So, all right, we all done. 
Yeah, I mean, you're the last player, right? Yep, so let's ready up, draw it. Me and my three-card hand size. Let's do it. Let's get it. Ooh, I got Lots Venom. Lots of you want to see. Team I building. Got, I got Venom with three resources, by the way. I can get a pretty strong Venom on early early game. I've never seen that before. It seems real good, right? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and add two threat to this scheme here, and then we are going to activate the enemies. He's stunned, not going to attack you. He is going to attack me. Um, I guess I'll defend. Because you can ready? I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to ready. Maybe if I use spider command, I can probably re-ready the ready thing and go. So I'll just I'll block. I just don't like... Because I know there are cards that hit you real hard. I just... I like keeping my hit points up on this one. All right, so that's no boost, right? So he attacks for two, I defend for two. That is zero damage, which would have made you very sad. It's, but uh, it would have me made you. Well, I mean, I, I only defend for one, so it actually would have made me happy. Yeah. All right, go ahead and draw your card. Wait, why are you exhausted? I Come on, Terrence. The all right, in expert mode, surge. this card gains Surge. Well, there's that. One revealed. Resolve the ambush, ambush ability early on, on the main scheme. scheme. Oh, that's not good. All right, so we ambush, bringing out another villain. Oh, does that go right to him? Is that how it works? And place the activation. No. Oh, it should have moved anyway. So it would have been here, but now it moves back to here. It's, it's, on, it's on Hobgoblin. Wait. No, it says... It, 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 it moves, right? No, no, read, read this. Oh, And ambush? then put the counter on it. So... It goes back to Electro. Then we put two thread on this scheme. Does that all follow? Yeah. And then put two more threat on light at the end. I already did, yeah. It's up to 32. Go ahead and do your second encounter card because you love encounter cards. In expert mode, it gains surge. And can't be canceled. Cool. When revealed, resolve the ambush. Wait, what? All right, I swear I shuffled. All right. You sure you shuffled? I'm sure. All right, ambush again. Uh, so we're getting another one. You know it's going to be great when we get the attack with everybody's attack value. I did just shuffle again. Go ahead, flip it. Attach the villain with the lowest activation order number. If you cannot resolve the ambush ability, oh, so that's this one, right? Can't thwart main scheme. The lowest. Is the lowest. Lowest is, is Doc Ock, right? Oh, okay. So we just got to kill him. All right, let's yep. see what this is. Now, oh. kill, now killing matters. Oh, killing definitely matters. Uh, side scheme, hunting the spider tomes. Oh, by the way, I put the inheritors in, in case you were wondering. So right. we're, we're not doing the normal uh, encounter. So normally we would be doing guerrilla tactics, but instead I did the inheritors, which just uh, which is what your, I think that's your, um, what, side scheme deck that came with yours, or what's that called? Uh, modular deck that came with yours. Sure, I forget which one it comes in. It comes that. in yours. Mine was a Sinister Six one, and a couple of the villains were the same, so I didn't do it. Uh, there is no mission. There is uh, what we do. We hunt the spiders. It's our way, Karn. All right. Force interrupt. When the villain phase begins, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Put each inheritor minion discarded this way into play. How do you feel about clearing that with a player? who controls a web warrior character, if able. Otherwise, put each inheritor minion discarded this way into play, engage with the first player. Wait, what? This Discard three, put each inheritor minion discarded this way. In, with the... Yeah, so luckily for us, we're both web warriors, so we can pick who it goes in front of. Otherwise, oh, so if nobody had a web warrior. And it's just first player, yeah. So it's never like nothing. I mean, it goes through their deck faster and puts... I think inheritors yeah, are BS like, too, if I remember. Yeah, inheritors are super strong. I think as minions, from what I remember, yeah. it's been a while. But I, I, I have not played against them, so I don't know. But um, all right. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe you don't want to play against them right now. <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, I am first player now. So what are we looking so, at here? Are you playing Venom? Well, do I play, uh, so what's Spider-Man? Play only if you control Web Warrior. When Spider-Man leaves play, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Deal damage. Yeah, that's 
for justice seems good, but I mean, Venom's too good to pass up right now, right? So I got no, one, yeah, such... one, two, three, and then I'll play the spider for the fourth one, right? So he gets three counters. So Venom is a four, four now. And then, yep. hey, guess what? I said I'm not good at spider command. I'm using it to discard this card to ready my readying card, right? Yeah. And then I use my readying card to ready myself. Okay, now I got some stuff. So I can do... I can so remove we all six. The side scheme? I mean, do you want me to just get rid of that? Sure. But I mean, you thwart better two, than I have you... A, I have a 2-2 two, two stat line with the hammer out right now. Oh, I was about to say you thwart better than you hit, but you don't. You're, you're the same now. Okay, um, yeah, so I'll just do six and remove that side scheme because that seems bad. So my whole turn was just removing the side scheme, well, and putting out a 4-4 four, four Venom, which, gosh, I wish I had some healing in my deck now. Um, <laughs> just to keep him the whole game, that would be pretty amazing. All right, Terrence, your turn. My turn was quick. You said you need to get out of here quick tonight. By the way, we'll probably not have a discussion afterward, um, but... Uh, we're sorry we haven't done a whole lot lately but we we will get back to it i promise uh venom is not a web warrior by the way so but yes we got web of life and destiny out brant you're welcome <laughs> man man do i play flipped whip and then hold team building i mean it wouldn't be terrible he's already stunned right oh no he's stunned the vulture Varch is not stunned what does Vulture do? After Vulture attacks and damage you, choose and discard a card from your hand. No, that's terrible. That's terrible. I mean... I mean, that seems really bad for you. Discard a card from my three-card hand? Why, why, yeah. why would that be terrible, Terrence? Ah, <laughs> uh, and I am first player, too. Yeah, go ahead and stun him. Yeah. I don't care. I mean, I prefer that. Oh, it costs. It, it's at the cost of um, team building. Team building. It slows you down. Yep. But I'm a team player. You are a team player, Terrence. I appreciate that. Should we just should we do vulture and then we're killing Doc, Doc Ock, Ock right as soon as possible. We're killing Doc Ock as soon as possible to get rid of that, so we can start thwarting the main. So, I would guess somebody else. Well, they're both ones, which is kind of garbage. Well, the thing is, I'm just not sure if like there's going to be a thing that there's an attack or something. I don't know. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, we'll we'll thwart, we'll kill Doc Ock, stun Doc Ock for now. You're right and because if he I gets will... the attack and add the attack of everybody, that's going to be awful right now. And then uh, should I just attack for two and save the tune counter? Probably right. It's up to you, man. Especially if I I think I will if I'm discarding a card from Vulture. Yeah, so who are you hitting? Ock. Doc Ock, right? Yep. Okay. I agree. I concur, sir. You and I have played way too many games together. Man, I can't wait to play some Marvel Champions with you. Are you you're bringing decks, right? I'll, I'll bring all my encounters if you bring decks. Are you bringing all your encounters? I am. I'm gonna, I have my, my Oh, you're driving. That's why. That's why. Yeah, my core box has all my encounters and it'll have Wait, but you don't have sleeve cards. I don't sleeve my cards. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna unsleeve. That means your... I have to unsleeve. I have to unsleeve my obligation to play. You are gonna have to unsleeve your obligation and your uh, shadows of the past. You'll you'll be fine, Terrence. You'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna draw my three cards. Ooh, I got the good Spider Man. Ooh, I got rapid deploy. Huh. This is real good, Terrence. This is real good. All right, where are we at? Oh, and I got uh, counterintelligence. I guess I should thwart. Think about thwarting at some point. Uh. Oh man, hogwash is pretty good <laughs> because uh, light at the end of the tunnel is a side scheme. Light at the end. What does it do? Remove five for one. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, that seems good. All right, so are we all done and readied up? So yeah. first thing we had two to this one, which isn't wonderful. Then he's stunned, so it doesn't attack me. Hey, guess what? Now you get the attack for two. Yeah, do you do yeah, anything yeah. about it? No. So you're just taking Four. three. I mean, I mean, defend for one, right? Like, what's the point yeah, of this? Yeah, no, game? you're right. Uh, but you do get a so tune counter. One, one plus so that's seven. Get a tune counter, and I got discard. Probably one of my team buildings, I think. 
I mean, that's up For to me, you. Hogwash. No. I don't feel like we care about that threat right now. Okay. That's For fine. For a side scheme? No? Yeah. No, get rid of it. That's fine. I feel like you want to get Spider-Man in, if only to start using this web of life and destiny. I mean, it seems like a good trade. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, you're welcome to play any web warrior as well. I mean, I'm trying to get Spider-Man in. I mean, I, I have the resources, right? I got a wild, another wild, and a lightning. I easily got those three three resources. And then I could use this to ready something. We'll see. I actually, uh, oh. All right, so rapid deployment's what's going to get um, discarded. Which is, that's six threat, though. That's pretty good. All right, anyway. Um, I, we, I get too easily distracted, Terrence. So he did attack you, so this moves to here now. Yeah. All right, so we both get a card. Let's do this. There you go. Brant says, bring a thousand sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Bora. What's Bora? Oh, big scheme. Each inheritor minion gains an acceleration icon. So that includes him. One revealed if web warrior characters in play place a threat on each scheme. Boom and boom. All right. He's only five health. Easy. All right, Terrence. You going to flip or are you just going to look at my side? I'm just reading this Bora. Mary says, uh, on a side note, a thousand sleeves would be a great band name. I agree. Uh, in expert mode, this card gains surge. Why, why not, Terrence? Why not no, just. And insight one. So you got to put. You gotta... Oh, yeah. We're halfway to getting rid of this. This. Who, ne who needs the first scheme? One revealed. Oh, put... cool. Discard the highest card cost I control. That's nice. I mean, it was free, right? Now, unfortunately, we both lost Web of Life and Destiny now, which isn't as great. If Craven the Hunter is already uh, in play. Luckily, Cra well, luckily, Craven's not already in play. Oh, yeah. Luckily, so now we have all seven. Is that true? Is he the last one? We literally have, or, or six, I'm sorry. Sinister six. I should I should be able to add. Well, I mean, it, it would have sucked to lose like two, two things instead of just one, right? That sucks. Okay, so good news. It doesn't gain surge. It's just insight one. Terrence. Yeah, now I regret getting rid of uh, whatchamacallit. Which one? Hogwash. I mean, I could always rapid deploy. Now that means I don't put Spider-Man in? No, you want the ready, I think. I don't know. I mean, I could thwart for quite a... Oh, you're first player. If you can get yeah. rid of him, I can thwart for quite... Well, I can thwart for six. And I could, I, I could do damage too. So like in any combination, thwart for an attack for six. So I could just get rid of him if we needed. So what do you want me to do here? I don't know, man. I, I really don't. <laughs> I, I like. I wish I had a good answer for you. I, I would love you to do as much damage to Doc Ock as possible. Is what I would like you to do. Because what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Spider-Man and Rapid Deploy. Both. I can do four, right? Okay. Four right. is good. With yes. the hammer? Yeah. And then build up your team building and get ready for another day? Are you going to put in the Spider-Man also? Or are you going to put in Endurance? Um, You could put in Endurance instead of Spider-Man. I mean, we have a chumper. We're going to have two dudes out now. I mean, they're both terrible chumpers, but... Well, I'm attacking for four, right? So he's down to two? Yep. Um... I mean, Electro's going. This card top seven so, cards of your deck. We're okay with that. I I'm okay with that. Like, I don't mind going through my deck. <laughs> I think I just put, I probably just put um, Spider-Man in, right? And then Chump. 
Well, I'm going to ask you... Oh, yeah, because you can't attack for two, which is terrible. That's the only negative, because if you attack for two, you're just dead. I'd love you to attack for two to put some damage on Bora over here. But... That apparently is not going to happen. Uh, do I just thwart for one? Off of... I mean, it's got to be the side scheme, right? We don't have a choice. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So is it down to 35 or 34? 34. All right. Okay. Um. So I don't think I'm killing Bor. Oh, no. I, I can with Spider-Man here, potentially. All right. So first things first, I'm going to punch for two, getting rid of Stunned Boy over here, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So this goes to here, this goes away. So now I can thwart the main scheme. Um, so I am going to pay one, two, three, because that's two wilds and a lightning to put Spider-Man into play. Oh, I forgot I got this one. Oh, no, I didn't forget that. No, I didn't forget that at all. Um, all right. So now I'm going to use Spider Command to discard Counterintelligence. Shoot, that doesn't work. <sighs> Crap. I need one more resource, Terrence. You don't have a helicarrier, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Dang it. I thought I was so smart. I thought I was smarter than I was. I was going to rapid deploy this, but I can't. Dang it. Well, I'm still going to use Spider Command to get rid of Counterintelligence to give me Unexhaust or plus two attack. Well, I guess Unexhaust, I could attack or thwart. So that seems just smarter all around, right? Um, all right. So Venom over here is going to hit Bora. Well, since I'm not flipping down, do I care about Bora? I mean, the... The acceleration kind of sucks. It's just, it's just acceleration, but it's not end of the world. But should I kill? I mean, should I flip down? Oh, well, if you flip down, then things change. Then I definitely kill Bora, probably. I don't have to flip down. Do you want to flip up. down? Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm up. One acceleration is not that bad. I may leave Bora around here. What should I do with my four? Should I thwart? I think I thwart. Either that or we did could take... Oh, oh, did you remove four from the side scheme from this? No, I did way? not. I was just thinking that. I was like, oh, crap. I forgot to remove four. Um, yeah, so... Should I have flipped? If you want to flip, flip. Okay. I mean, my, I mean, I feel like the Brent, Brent would tell me to get the extra card in the two encounter, right? Do it. Two two encounters. Not just one. One this turn, one next turn. And if you heal, you're up to 12. And you get a third June counter, which also seems good. Okay, so that's four. So do you want me to just remove all the threat from the main scheme? I won't be sad about it, but... Wait, are you, you were first player. The only negative is... Oh, no, he's not stunned anyway. His scheme's too. He's not... Is the only I mean, it's most, most of them scheme too, for on the left side, I think. Of defense. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to thwart for two and ready off the main. Who who do you want to punch down next? Then I'm going to thwart for two more. May as well. We'll just get that down to zero so we don't have to think about it for right now. Um, I don't know. Who do you want to punch down next? What What is the worst? I mean, I feel like Scorpion's pretty bad. Like, because there's that card that says add up all their attack. Right? Although Scorpion gives us a chance to flip down and get a zero scheme, which is kind of nice also. Um, so I'm going to go in ready, and then I'm going to punch somebody. Who am I punching? I just like Craven the most, mostly just because he caused you to lose upgrades and supports, which seems real bad for both of us. Both of us, yeah, yeah. No, I can't lose upgrades and supports. Yeah, Craven's going down. He's going down. I mean, I could have also just punched Bora to make her easier to kill next turn, but I, that would feel real bad if we get a card that like does five damage. So, all right, I am done. 
Ready it up. Yeah. You know what's funny when you have a three card hand and you still have one card in your hand at the end of the turn? You can discard it, bro. I'm not discarding rapid deployment. Are you kidding me? Six threat removal on this mission? Uh, I'm all, I'm all how do set. You feel, how, do you, how do you feel about healing with uh, downtime? Except I don't have um, 14 L. It's fine. Do what you got to do. Well, anyway, um, let's go ahead and add two to the main scheme. Then we are going to have, so you're a first player. So Electro is going to scheme against you for two plus a card of one. So that's three. That's not bad. Could have been much worse. Um, then it moves to the next player. Hobgoblin attacks. After he attacks and damages you, you take two indirect damage. I don't love that. Do I try to block and make sure he doesn't? You know what? Why not? I'm blocking. So two damage. Hope to get lucky. Did not get lucky. So I take three total damage. One, two, three. Then I'm taking one more from Bora over here. Um, oh, I forgot the acceleration from Bora. So that's another one. Okay. Um, go ahead and draw your card. I feel like you're typing over there, Terrence. I feel like you're turning into Mike on me. An expert mode this uh, insight one. Yeah. That's that side. Dr. Ah, it's us right in play, confused. No, we just killed him, so he comes back. Wonderful. Stun. Of course. Of course. It's fine. Everything is awesome. Insight one and can't be canceled. Okay. Two indirect and discard a card at random. <sighs> you know what three card hand loves? is discarding cards at random or not doesn't matter oh yay rapid deployment gone i do have a cross the spider verse and a beat cop do i put beat cop in beat cop seems pretty good right now right or at it's least not, bad. not terrible i don't need what do you what would you pull from across the spider verse i mean i just Hold It'd it. either be Ghost Spider or Spider Man, right? And is Ghost Spider Spider Man? In there? Ghost Spider is yeah, in Ghost there. Spider or Hobie Brown, Punk Spider. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so I'm first player. Yeah, uh, too bad Venom is not a Web Warrior. I know, right? Well, but then you couldn't play him with these anyway, so he'd just be a one-one. I think I'm just gonna punch him with Venom. So that's four over here. Bye, Venom. Hardly knew you. And then uh, spider Man's going to punch him again to get rid of him. I feel like that's the right call in the long run. Yeah, if I wasn't stunned, I was going to say I would overkill, but, you know. Yeah, it's fine. It's and do I slow play it with Beat Cop? I mean, I could hold across the Spider-Verse for another turn. I could even flip. I feel like you just... I. I feel like you just don't, unless you really want Spider-Man back, I just feel like uh, a cross is, um, I, holding cards feels bad with Spider, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Cross the Spider-Verse is so good though, right? For two costs, you just get him back for free. I could even chump with him this turn and not care. It's your call. Uh, all right. So I'm going to get one, two... Yeah, I guess I'll cross the Spider Verse. Three to put in Beat Cop, which gets a counter on it because I'm going to use it to remove one from the main. Then I think I thwart the main, right? Twice? Sure. Unless you want to kill something. I mean, I do four damage. Four doesn't kill anything. I'd rather get the main down to three. Now, the question is do I flip down? Sure. Do you mind? Because then Cra uh I would like it because then Craven doesn't attack me. Okay. So you'd prefer me to flip down, is what you're saying. Wait, wait, hold on. Hobgoblin attacked me last turn, so this is here. Oh, so Craven does attack me. Craven's gonna attack me. No, he's gonna scheme against me. Yeah. And then Scorpion will be stunned. That seems good. Wait, wait, it does it not move? 
It does not move. Wait, how does this work? So only if they no attack, moves. does it move? Y yes. Well, I don't want to discard a supporter upgrade I control. Well, the only way to stop that is to block with Spider Man, which also seems not. I do have I do have uh, superior Spider Man, Ido Octavius. What does that mean? You'd block? You chump? I can chump with him. Okay, so the question, so that doesn't affect my flipping down then. It no. only schemes for one. I think I should flip down. If I'm gonna do it, now's the time, right? And that gets me an extra sure. two card draw. I mean, I, I need to get through my deck. I need to get that one card that lets me draw more. Did you deck last time we played, even? I don't know. But I, I need that card that lets me draw more cards. So I'm flipping now. Okay. I'm flip. Oh, so the question is now, actually, do I do two less thwarting? How much thwarting are you doing? Because if I do two less thwarting, then I could actually draw two cards right now. Right? What, what does that get you? Well, if I draw good cards, I keep one or both. If I don't, then I discard them both. Yeah, it's Look fine. You. I'll, I'll do the threat removal. All right, go for it. Um, I will heal. Seems good. And you already beagled? I did beagle. I'll put ready to rumble in. Are you ready to rumble? And then ready. What does it do? Oh. After you change forms, you ready? It as a hero. Seems good. So it's like really good with like Ant Man and Wasp and Spectrum and those yeah, yeah. and Vision. Um Do I so want you, downtime? I mean I apparently do. you're putting Noir in. Well, if you were going to downtime, you should have done it earlier, right? I guess it doesn't. Well, matter. I have a two counters, dude. Yeah. Come on. Well, no, I had max health. Like, 12 is max. So that's why downtime didn't matter. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, I might as well get this out of my deck, right? Well, and it's one you could discard if you needed to discard one. Yeah. And then I hold spider here. So you want me to thwart here for two? Or should I just get rid of my stun? Um, That's up to you, man. I mean, if they all scheme, if they all, because there is a card that makes them add their things together, right? Or am I crazy on? Yeah, that? I'll I'll just thwart. I'll thwart for two. I mean, you do have a card that lets you ready in a second. I hope. All right, so let's ready oh, up draw. Let's okay. see. I get my four cards. Ooh, I finally got an all system. Oh, I just realized this is my first all systems go. Oh, and Heroic Intuition. So you're right. Oh, by the way, I put Living Tribunal in my deck. Just because I'm curious to see what it does. <laughs> you know what it does. You've played it before. I don't think I've actually ever put it in their deck. I'm, I'm going to try to play it this game. I, although, it's not a great turn. Well, with all systems go, it should be easy to do, actually. Although, I could put a second beat cop in, which seems real good as well. Right? <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Maybe that doesn't end up happening. All right. So we had two threat. Then uh, Craven schemes against me for one plus another two, so a total of three. And then he attacks you. What are you doing? Chopping. What, what do you do? What do you do? Ooh, there's yep. Shadows of the take Past. It. I'll take it. Boom, 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 boom. All right, everybody Man. drink. For Where's that Web of Life and Destiny? I mean, Stand we lost deck, both of them. We lost both of them. I mean, that wasn't that wasn't intentional obviously so so now scorpion's stunned so actually one of us should be face down next turn and the other one should just deal with the stunned scorpion right that seems good all right draw uh attach the villain with the highest activation order value if you cannot yeah oh That's no we so can sure. we can for sure <laughs> they're all out still uh stun oh so that gets rid of stun all right, so never mind. My my brilliant plan for next turn is is now thwarted. All right, your first player. Let's do it. Oh man, he attacks for a lot now. Vulture. Which one? Vulture. Two plus what? Number of villains out. Yeah, no, we have to kill Vulture. I mean, obviously, seven health. Take him now. Well, man, you should have chomped on Spider-Man. 
retcon that. Why? <laughs> Just kidding. Because I have a spider in my hand. That's fine. Uh, well, no, you want organic webbing for sure. Right? Uh, let's see. I mean, swinging web pig? Seems good. Oh, Captain America hat seems good too. Uh, the problem is I'm stunned, so like the ready would allow me to just get rid of it and then do something yeah, else. Yeah, that's but... fine. That's not a problem. And actually, you taking a ton of damage isn't a problem either because you have cartoon physics. So who cares? Uh, let's see. So cartoon. What do I want on my discard pile? Wait, why do you get something out of your discard pile? Captain America. Just looking what I can play. Do we want ham it up? Ham it up's pretty good. Five. Remember, we got the inheritors too. Five damage to an inheritor wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. That's that's ham it up's the thwart for the number of two encounters you have. Oh no, no no! I think you do the one that costs one and does five to a. What's We don't Wait. have any inheritors though. Out. Not right now, but if. If we don't get them, then you remove five threat. Because doesn't it say to your deck? No, it's in your hand. Oh, to your hand. Well, you're not going to be able to play oh, no, this. Into your, de into your deck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's a no-brainer. Like with Inheritors and also wanting to remove threat from this. By the way, we are terrible at destroying Sinister Six members. I'd just like to point that out. <laughs> six of six are still up. What are you doing? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, I resolve this. Can I put this under him? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's one. Let me just flip it over. It's fine. Um, what? Mare Cat is 2 2. Are we killing Vulture? I think that's the plan, right? I think we have to. How much can you do? I can do as much as you want. I could do up to so four myself, and then another two here. Oh, six myself plus two. I could do eight myself, but that means I don't get to draw two cards. I'd like to draw two cards. Oh, I have all systems go. Yeah, I, I can do some stuff. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I can do a lot of stuff. In fact. So yeah, you do what you want to do, and I'll clean up the rest. God, I love spider. Right, so by the way, did did I mention that I love spider suit? I mean, I got super lucky with my first turn ready and plus two attack card, but so I thought for three. Um, should I if get you rid of one? Actually, if you could use uh, Noir to take one off of this, all my attacks are like even numbers. So that that would feel better. I mean, I might as well do that with Maricat because I might as well use no. Spider Noir when he gets the three three, right? He's only two, though. Noir's a one one right now, right? Right, right. That's what I'm saying. I need an. But I mean, but I mean, you're, you're gonna stack. We're gonna stack them to a three-three, right? Oh, is that what you're waiting for? Okay, all right, no worries. I'm just uh... saying one would help because I do only in even numbers of da of damage. Uh, all right. So let me. Wait, you didn't let me get rid of stun. And okay. then burn this to ready. Yep. And then, do you want me to thwart for three then? Because I thwart for three natively. Or you want me to attack for two? I think thwart for three. Okay. And then what do you want Maricat to do? I mean, I would say either thwart or you could take some damage off of Vulture. It doesn't matter. Whatever you don't do, I'm going to do the opposite. So. All right. So I'll do, yeah. do, do five okay for you? Yeah. I mean, again, four would be better just because odd numbers are better or even numbers are better. But whatever. Okay. It's fine. I can take care of it. All right, so I'm going to use my suit to draw two cards. All right. Ooh, what's this one do? After Spider-Man enters play, remove a threat from a scheme for each web warrior card you control. By the way, I just realized that 
or not just, but I do know that some of these are Web Warrior cards. None of them are. All right. So I think only you are Web Warrior on your flip side. I am Web Warrior. So I'm Web Warrior and Spider Man. So that's two plus himself. That's three. So if I put him in, I remove three threat, which seems good. That would clear main. Yeah. So that seems good. So it seems like that's what I want to do. Um, and I have all systems go also. So I've, I've got options this turn. So I'm going to flip over. Um, I mean, Living Tribunal's a dream, but it's not going to happen. I'm going to hold Ejection Protocol. I might actually play it. I mean, it's pretty darn good. What does it do? You set your hit points to six, give yourself tough, and flip to Alter Ego. I guess it's not as good. Uh, I thought you drew cards too. You don't, but it's still pretty darn good. Free tough, basically. Um. Oh, did I want to heal while I was on this side for four? That would put me at twelve. I feel like that's the right. I mean, call. that's probably pretty good. Yeah. And then I flip. Okay. So now I only have two free resources. Um. Do, 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 do. All right, so one, two, um, three, to put in Spider-Man, removes three threat, one, two, three. Spider-Man is going to punch for a one. I mean, he, he's kind of garbage, actually, but that punch for one helped. Let's see. Then I am going to ready myself. Uh, and then I will attack for two. Then Spider-Man attacks, which readies me, and then he dies. Right? Terrence? Yep. You with me? Yeah. Am I mean, I put... am I supposed to say something when you kill? Am I kill putting you to sleep? Oh wait, why do nah, I keep just waiting? Trying to ambush. I'm an idiot. All right. Um. Okay. So do I use ejection protocol to all systems go? And then you put... mean like spend it? Yeah, just spend it as a resource. It's a good sure. card. It's not a great card. So I'm gonna all systems go. It is a support, so you get to just have it out and play. The problem is, I want to get Heroic Intuition out, don't I? To help the work, sure. to help I mean, win the game. Prefer... Like, we, I mean, I understand we have a lot to deal with now, so I'm not focusing on that. Did, but... you, did you remove the four for killing Vulture? I did not. Good call. I, we, we've killed them so infrequently. Wait, should we have moved this or no? No, no, he never attacked. Your first player. Oh, thank God. Um, so, heroic into. Uh, so, just so we know. Um, wait, all systems go. Uh, so I could either ready each interface I control, which is all of these, um, or I could have searched for another interface. But I obviously decided to ready all these for the cost of one. So. Well, there's no reason. I mean, it's either way. It doesn't matter. So I'm spending two for heroic intuition. Gets it out of my deck. Oh, I have a beat cop too, by the way. So let's do that to remove one from here. Right. And then I yep. get to do four of something. So I think it should be four attack. Probably. Is there anyone that you hate? Craven, you said you hated, right? Craven, for sure. One, two, three, four. Okay. So Craven's four more down. Yeah. That feels pretty good. I mean, that was a long turn, but it it felt like a good turn for us. We we're we're down to sinister five. Uh, let's draw three. Ooh, here it is. Speed metal alloy, plus two defense. Ooh, Lady Spider. What the heck does she do? After Lady Spider thwarts and removes threat from a scheme, you control if you control other Web Warrior card, remove an equal amount of threat from a different scheme. Oh, so she gets the 
the wart for four? Mm-hmm. But she's super expensive. She is. What's Spider Woman? Reduce cost player by one for each confused enemy in play. Well, I can't do that myself. She's not wonderful. For one more, Lady Spider is clearly way better. All right. Um. So let's add two threats to the main. Uh. Where are you at? I am waiting to get punched in the face. All right. So you are getting punched in the face for three. Are you doing? I'm thinking about that? chomping this. What do you think? Um. I could chump it with mine, who is just worse than yours. The problem is, then it goes to this jobber. I mean, placing one threat is not the worst thing in the world. And I can block better than you. Yeah, I'll chump for you. Fine, Terrence. Look at me being the team player tonight. That would have been five damage. Look at that. Boom. I mean, do you want me to chump for you for a Maricat? No, I don't, actually. I'm good, because this moves. What's it going to add? One threat? To each scheme. Er, er. All right. So I'm going to block. So that's two damage plus two more. Two. Oh, yeah. There's your uh, obligation. So I take two Do damage. You want a hot dog? I, I actually could use a hot dog right now. Although it's funny. Uh, so what I do is I work with uh, doctors, especially GI doctors who work on the whole GI track, including like the upper GI, like the throat and stuff. And they're like, damage. the number of people that like choke on hot dogs is like ridiculous. You would be shocked. Why is this here? Oh, that's a sweat, sweat card. Uh, each inheritor minion gets plus one attack when revealed. If a web warrior character is in play, take two damage. So don't forget to get a tune counter. I did. Okay. That looks like Wolverine. Is that like Morlin Arene? It's a vampire. Yes. Oh. Is he? Oh, look at him. When revealed, discard an upgrade or support you control. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to do that? Um, I don't mind losing Spider Command. Well, you've seen how little um, I've used it. Uh... I mean, I don't think so. You got to do the voice if you're going to do it, Terrence. You got to do the voice. I mean, I don't know. Do you want it? I don't know that it matters. I don't care that much about Spider Command. Honestly, I don't think it's as good as people think it is. Um, okay. I mean, it's fine if you've got an extra card in your hand. It's great to ready your ready card, but whatever. Like, I don't know. It's fine. All right, you're first. I am first because I am amazing. Um. All right. So are we killing Craven? Is that like priority one? Uh, I wouldn't say no. I think I'm putting Lady Spider in. I think I'm just burning everything. Oh, no. I want to put Speed Metal Alloy in. Well, that's easy, right? Yeah, I was going to say. I tap anything to put it in, then I could tap it to use as a resource. So I've got three plus this one to put Lady Spider in. But then I'm literally doing nothing else this turn. So then I can't really kill Craven. The other option is to kill Craven and not play anything this turn. Which seems not great. Um, what do you think? How much damage and or threat? Oh, do you need help over here? I mean, I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have the overkill on it. So whatever damage you do, uh, I will use it to kill it. If not, I'll use a mirror cat to put it in killing range. I mean, I could do four right here, but the problem is, I think I think Lady Spider might be the right call here. And then she'll thwart for four. Do we care about that? Or do you just want me to hit as hard as possible and then just discard both of these cards? Oh, we don't have a Web of Life and Destiny either. So that, that does change the, like, because Web of Life and Destiny is great with Web Warriors in. But we don't have that. So do I just discard both of these cards? I guess that's where my, uh, whatchamacallit, would have been nice. Uh, what do you think, Terrence? I could also just hit uh, for two. Or no, I could hit for four. No, I could hit for two. 
and still get Spider Woman out. That seems good. So let's do that. All right. So I'll ready myself here. I'll hit for two. See, all right. Can we can we have a small discussion afterward? Well, no. Let's have it right now. I love Spider Suit because of these options right here. You can use your resources for like what they do. You can use them for resources. Like I love the number of options that this character gives you. Um, as is shown right here. Like, I don't think any character is as thinky as Spider is. I mean, I, you guys can prove me wrong or whatever, but, like, I don't know. I kind of feel that way. Is that super different from the fact that you also have options in your hand and you're making choices, so, like, it fits in theme? Well, you have options in your hand, but you also have options on the table. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like the options on the table are more interesting now you could get screwed right that's the thing i'm not i'm barely halfway through my deck right now i've got most of my upgrades out like you could also go through halfway through your deck and have none of your upgrades out right that would be just terrible um so i like guess what, like an upgrade hate deck would wreck that deck because you just won't be able to deck yourself to then well i still don't have the card that helps me get through my deck faster right like that's the the painful part about this. Now you do have those um whatchamacall cards? Uh all systems, yeah. All systems go, which will let you at least search for some of those in your discard pile. So it's something at least. Alright, so the last thing I have is Spider Woman is gonna attack. She's gonna take two counters and then she'll be able to chump for us. Oops. So two counters, and then Beat Cop is going to... Oh, shoot! He could do two damage also, but we're not doing that. Not this early. Um, so that's two more on him. So you really got the overkill now. Okay. Why is this not changing? Oh, there it is. All right. Go for it, Terrence. Mm -hmm. Do I have all my upgrades out that I want? I'm looking for anything else. So I have my third team building. Like, do I just take this attack from Electro? And draw three cards? Sure. And I would I would deck myself. I'm just trying to think, are there cards in here I want? No, right? Basically have everything out. I have team building in my hand, I have Beagle out, I have Web of Life and Destiny in my discard. I mean you've got all your good stuff. You really need to use cartoon physics at some point. Oh, you could put more than one out. It's not unique, so you could have a second one out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. So uh, good. I would hold that though. Uh unless you want no, you can't play it. Just to shuffle. No, I was thinking about Petulant Pig to get the three cards. Oh. Right? Like, it would deck me because of Electro, but, like, do I care? Like, I don't. I think these are all events and allies and stuff, right? Yeah, so that actually may even be good for you. Yeah, let's do that. So, Electro attacks for one. You're not blocking, obviously, because you've got Toon Pig. Plus two more, so it's three. three. Are you gonna just take it or are you gonna use your cartoon physics? Uh probably use it because then it gets cycled into my deck, right? Yep, because you have another one in your hand, especially. So you get a tune counter, you lose a life. And then a deck. So cartoon physics, remove a tune counter. Oops, I'll do it for over here. Uh, when your identity would take any amount of damage, discard this card, wiggle your body. Wait, did you wiggle, wiggle your body, Terrence? Sure. What do you mean, sure? I don't believe you. I want to see you wiggle, Terrence. I want to see you wiggle, wiggle, for show. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Right, How did so you I pay have... for that? Team building. Oh, okay, I was about to say, because you, you would have had to have a card in your discard if you... Oh, now you can't swing your oh, web I get, pig, though. I get three cards. Oh, I was about to say. Wait a minute. So now you can. Uh, do I just do it again? Do it no. one more time? I mean, I, I think I've you got team one. building first. Right? Do I... I... No, I mean, I could have him attack me again. 
I mean, why wouldn't you? You have and another draw, and draw three more tune. cards. Yeah. And it gives you another counter. Yeah, I mean, yes. Do it, Terrence. Do it. Anything that gives you more of a chance to hold, I don't think so, is freaking great. Well, uh, oh, wait. No, so it's past this. Oh, wait. Who's attacking? No, no it's here. It's here. It's here. Uh oh. I just did Electro. You would take two indirect damage. So it's two plus one is three. So you're again getting rid of your cartoon physics to only take one damage. So then I go up to four. Were you at seven? I felt what? like you were higher. Uh, I'd start at ten. Took you one, lost one, took and... one, take two for indirect. Oh, two indirect. I forgot the indirect. Okay. So draw three. Oh, there's your web of life and destiny. That's good. Because guess who's dying this turn? Spider Woman. Definitely dying. Yeah, man, hogwash. You have to read loud its flavor text, just so you know. But yeah, five so... damage to a minion. Oh, why did I waste all that damage on that minion? That sucks. But five well, off at this of, point, five off of the scheme is great. So at this point, I'm gonna do this right and attack with my overkill to do it on so uh, that's, Morlone and then hit Craven the Hunter, right? So it's one plus three, and then right? three. Yep. Yep. So that removes four from this game. Terrence, yep. what the hell's going on? There's not six guys flipped up anymore. I feel like we're doing it wrong. Do you want to get rid of an advance with Silk? I don't know. Is there I mean, there's probably advance? something we don't want. Like one of those crappy cards you can't cancel, I'm sure, right? There's no advances out, by the way. So there's two advances in the deck. I think getting rid of one of those is a little bit important, maybe? Maybe not. For a two or a zero? Well, no, no, no. These two are going to activate, so it'll be over here on Doc Ock. So two, yes. I don't know. I hate advance. It's like the lose condition you don't see coming. I mean, you swing web pig and flip down, right? And call it a day. Sure. Why is so Silk down silk there? <laughs> I was about to say, why is Silk? It's fine. Put her there. We understand what's going on. All right. Let's get something out of here. Oh, maybe there's no treacheries. Exhaustion. That sucks. No, there's two advances, dude. I promise you there's two advances in there. Because I look through the discard and there's zero advances. I mean, but do you would you do you do you care about advances or like? Yeah, this card's terrible. Like, isn't that card just worse? This is worse. Yes, yes. Yeah. What did you just delete over here? I didn't delete anything over there. Cheater. Terrence cheated and deleted the second most terrible card in the deck. Uh. I think I do. I pitch my. I don't think so. No, you just pitch two counters. And you swing web pig. And you flip down and you call it a day. Six damage and confuse. Seems good. And you confuse this one because you'll be face down against yep. them, right? Yep. So he's down to what three. What do you want? Uh... And confuse. What do you want so to do? Oh, crap. Hold on. It's going to move, though. Hold on. It's going to move to him. Will it? Yeah, because I'm face up. Yeah. So, put six back on. No, he right attacked me. He right attacked me. This moved. So then, do you want to do Doc Ock? That seems fine. Yeah. Yeah. Down to two. Uh, What do you want Silk to do? Should we just do main for one? Sure. Should you do some villain i mean you never do eight. unless you're trying to get to an even number which we've got plenty of stuff to do that with like so should i just get hobgoblin down to eight because that's even I, I feel like thwarting is always better than attacking right uh, not always but like it feels like it's always better 
Oh, wait. Should I just kill Doc Ock? Wait, why can you kill Doc Ock? Captain America. Well, the problem is then you lose the confused benefit we got. Well, we could have confused Electro, right? But then, but that that was six damage and confused. Don't forget. So. Oh, I see. Yeah. Never mind. So uh, no. America. Let's just sort two off main, one off of Hub. Yeah. Okay. Right. To get Hub going to even. Yeah, I like that because I do feel like at some point we're gonna. Uh... uh, spend one of these. Oh, to you're ready. Good. Thwart for three. Flip down. Oh yeah. yeah. No, I'm just good call. I'm, I'm gonna heal right for seven. Yes. And get two tune counters. By the way, swing web pig is done. Um. And daily beagle, and the heal. So healing cartoon power after you take a basic recovery, place tune counter, and this is uh, exhausted to place tune counter. So you get two tune counters, and just a reminder, like because we've been just doing this, each tune counter on Spider Ham can be spent as if it were a wild resource, which is freaking great. Uh, now you never use Noir, but you're not using them yet, right? So Noir, every treachery. That yeah, comes so I up, have to not chump with Silk to put stuff under him this turn. Why is Just that? Why? Because I don't have another web warrior if I'm flipped down. Is it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. If you control another warrior. No, I, I web of life and destiny. Never mind. If you control another web warrior card. Yeah, web of life and destiny is, is web a web warrior, warrior card. card. Okay, cool. So I'm good. And then, you know, I can probably give you the card draw too. So. Um, What? You don't think me having three cards is enough? I mean, I got my last one, Terrence. Have, your your deck's built to only have three cards, so I got my last just, one. Just icing on the cake. Plus two thwart. What's this? I don't even know. Justice served. After you thwart and remove the last threat from a scheme, ready your hero. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Web Warrior. If Spider Man from your hand upgrade that upgrade is a tech trait. Draw one card. Yeah. So I can ready one of my tech upgrades and draw a card. That seems yep. way good. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about because uh, all these are tech so upgrades. I was, I was thinking about him and um Ghost Spider actually. Oh wait, her, God, this is God not a tech upgrade. Tech. No. Wow. Only this is in this. So in just this. your plus defense or your plus attack. Yeah, all your plus stats are tech upgrades. And well, yeah, I got obviously another this, one in my hand. Obviously, the is... spider is not a tech upgrade. Eh, I guess. I love Spider, by the way. So good. So Yeah, but good. I was thinking about this for, uh, you know, like uh, Ghost Spider, because her gauntlets are tech upgrades. Yep. The wrist gauntlets that draw cards. I mean, I love so... the... I, I know we're not having a post-stream discussion, but I, I want to, because there's so much stuff to talk about right now. There's so much good stuff going on with this game. Um, all right. So, uh, all right. So we just added two threat. Then who's first player? I am first player. So dummy is going to attack me. I think I'm going to block for Do you four. Want to jump? Oh, or Do are you going to jump? Oh no, I'm going to jump with Do this guy. Me? I'm sorry. I got spider woman here. No worries. Spider woman chumps. So attacks for three plus three. That's six. Oh wow. Yeah. Couldn't have been a you better can, call. You can draw a card. Thank you for letting me draw a card. Now, do you have to exhaust it? You don't, right? Nope. Nope. Ooh, Scarlet Spider. Uh, if you would reel an encounter card, name a card type. Yeah, it seems way complicated. Two attack. That's fine. All right. So what's going on? <laughs> way uh, complicated? Why do you have them in your deck? I don't know, because you know me. I don't care. I just He had a Web Warrior trait, so I threw him in. Confused. Confused does nothing. Um, so now I draw a card and then you draw another card. Oh, there's a lot of symbols on this card. Uh, brute force barricade. It's a sinister six card side scheme. It's a victory. So it goes away after we beat it. Threat cannot be removed from other side schemes. Give the villain an additional boost card for this activation. Oh no, no yeah, that's, but that's a star. Holy crap. That would have been two plus another boost card. My gosh, I am actually super happy oh it came out as a nine threat bullcrap that doesn't let you remove threat from this. 
Oh, this is bull crap right here. What is? It's a treasure. You don't forget to put it under Noir. Uh, alter ego. The villain with the lowest activation order schemes with scheme plus. Yeah, I mean, we knew that card was in there, right? So lowest four. activation order is here. So that's two, four, so six. Six, six plus, plus boost. Yep. Plus zero. Okay. It's up to eight. I mean, if that's the worst thing that could happen from that, I'm okay. All right. Surge, exhaust your identity. So that's a 3-3. Three, three. There you oh, go. Oh, F you. So that comes to me. That's not that's not bad, right? You get a few flip down exhaust or remove it. I feel like there are worse things that could happen. Choose discard and interface upgrade. Yeah, that ain't happening. She's not funny, right? I mean, I could wait. Why do I have a four card hand? Oh, I drew a card from Web of Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Web of Destiny. Web of yeah. Life Destiny. Yep. All right. So she is her three three now. Spider-Man, she being Spider-Man Noir, which is not a she. All right. Um, all right. So we're done. Back to us. So I'm first player? Yep. Oh, no, you're no, first, I'm first player. player. All right. You already drew it. Uh, Yeah. Do I? Why are you exhausted? Oh, yeah, because that's a stupid card. Well, it doesn't matter. You Take don't you. need to be. Well, Daily Beagle first. Like, don't even think about it. Daily Beagle. Then you flip up, right? Because that way yep. you get to use those two encounters. Now you make decisions. Oh, gosh. You got... Flip, flip, for sure. I mean, it's not yeah. even a question about that. So you take a damage, get another tune counter. Yeah. And who do you want to stun? I mean, I feel like Electro Flippian's for sure. the right call, by the way. Right? But, yeah. We for sure can kill Doc Ock, right? So yeah, like we're Electro. killing him this turn. Yeah, so Electro yeah, and Electro. Scorpion. I mean, nobody cares about Hobgoblin's two extra damage. Like, let's be honest, you actually prefer him to hit you and then hit you again. <laughs> like, that's two extra two encounters. So, do I... I, I think I'd patch lit Pig and Chomp with Silk. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, we get to draw a card, right? What's the bad part of it? Place a threat on each scheme? I mean, that's not great. Wait, why is this down to nine? Or eight? Did you remove one? No. All right, I just never put it at nine, maybe? Okay. Uh, Wait, should I flip flip and then... Stun Doc Ock? No. No. It doesn't matter. Wait, Petula and Pig Ock? is attacking? Yes, I'm killing yeah. Doc Ock. Well, you could kill Doc Ock right now if you wanted. Should but, I do that with the Maricat and discard and then, him? And then you could have Electro attack you with Petula and Pig. Okay. Let's do it. I mean, you're going to attack any with Cap Maricat, right? Or Well, you could jump with him. But... All right, so Rue 4 off of a side scheme. Do we want Rue Force, Rue Force? It's not a have choice. To do that. Terrence. And at that can't point. Remove off of any other side scheme. All right, so I'm going to Petulant Pig. And then he's stunned. But I got to draw three cards. Wait, what, hold on. Let me read this. Stick your tongue out. Tongue did out. you stick your tongue out? Did, did you do it last time, too? Come on, Terrence. Yes. You got to do you gotta watch this. You got to watch the camera, dude. By the way, you don't have to do these things if if you think it's silly. And even unless you're playing with Peter, unless, unless you're, playing you're playing with me, and then I'm gonna force you to. My daughter did all these things, which is great, and she loves Spider Ham. So uh, the villain attacks you. Draw three cards. All right. Ooh, is that the good Spider Man? No. The good Spider Man is there. Bad Spider Man. I mean. Swing web pigs never terrible. By the way. By the way, how did we get down to three again? We had sinister six for a while there. Um, I don't know. I feel like how we do I? We oh, ham it up is not terrible right now. Yeah. If you get one, one away, more, it'd be freaking great. Wait, did you did you take the damage from him attacking? Oh no, he's stunned. no, because he was stunned. Ah, Terrence. Him up still pretty darn good. You can get this down to one, or you can get this down. I mean, I, I think I just ham it up, right? I mean, you have to, yeah. Well, so where are you put taking off of? I, I you can only take off this, right? No, you can take it off main. Oh, should I do main? I don't know. It's your choice. 
Can we get what, to I five? guess what are you doing? I have no idea what I'm doing, Terrence. I don't think about these things till it's my turn. You know that. Well, because there's options here of like if I can get uh if you can if we can get this down to something you can thwart. Like I mean then Does then, anybody then, then have one thwart? That won't then die from thwarting. Already. No. I mean Spider Ham can thwart for three, right? I feel like that's the better call. And then we can easily do two. Like I can and, do two. Because you can use this for the ready here. Which one? Yeah. If you remove the last one, it's a ready. Yeah, yeah. So why one. don't you do three on this yourself? So take four off of this, I would think, with ham it up. Okay, let, yeah, let's do four off main. Oops. I went the wrong way with that, Terrence. You you want twelve on main? Is that does that make you happier? No. <laughs> um... By the way, there's a lot of people in chat and it's quiet. I probably because we weren't responding to the chat earlier, but it's just so hard when there's so much chat going on. I mean, um, do I do Spider-Man? Do whatever you want, man. Go for it. I mean, you got two freaking team buildings that you haven't used at all. So that's card draw for you. Uh, Wait, what does it do? I mean, when I kill it, when he dies, he does damage and gives us a card draw. So that seems well, good. Well, it's for me or you or whoever. Whatever. So... Oh, at this point, I might as well thwart for two here, because you thwart for three with this, right? If I thwart myself, yeah. Aren't you exhausted because you removed your obligation? Not yet. You removed your obligation. You're uh -oh. exhausted. Oh, do you have to do it immediately? I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. It's a standard obligation. Wait, wait. Who gets it? No, it's your, it's your character, not, yeah, not the suit. Yeah, which is fine. One, oh, two, removed from the game. Wow. I'm just Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're not you're not on top of it right now. Dude, All right, I, so I, who I've, am I've I had a half a bottle of wine, by the way, without eating. And... Why do you do six and stun on who? Um six and confuse on who? Who do we want to kill? Hobgoblin or Electro? Who do we care more about? Electro. Electro? Alright. Unless you want Scorpion. I mean, we're going to kill whoever it is. Um, I could ready, but I might hold these. Um, you have three. I think I'll just do three do you off just of... just get rid of uh, this? Oh, you want me to do it so I get the card draw. So you well, not card draw. Though. You get you get a ready for it. Yeah, you get That's... three off of main if you want. Uh, you get... Well, you can't do the side scheme. So you can either hit I could just them. start punching the villains down. So Go I could get it. Scorpion down to seven. Yep. Now, wait a minute. Oh, we did remove when we killed one. All right. All yeah, that and then I hold good. this. Yeah, I don't... You, oh. I could spend to ready and do more stuff. I don't know if it's worth it. What, you remove three threat? I mean, three off main is not bad. Or you could punch for... Four on something yeah I just, I just noticed some ham and ups and you have three ham and ups in the deck so i wonder if i should just like yeah yeah, yeah just, pretty good just turn. hold off yeah uh and then i'll chomp with silk so yep okay so i'm gonna draw the two cards i think oh, i should have done that earlier right have i been using b cop every turn i don't know that i have been by the way no. Did I well forget there's that? the one that there, there's the dude there's the one that i needed Wait, did I forget to do that last turn? For real? It's it's fine. It's I mean, fine. I should have take. I could take one more. Well, whatever. Oh, guess what? I have under surveillance. But the big thing is, I have Aunt May and Uncle Ben, which is. Are you playing them? Of course, dude. <laughs> like of all the things that I'm gonna do, Aunt May and Uncle Ben is number one. I don't even care about because you're on alter ego now. Yeah, as well. Uh, so I'm gonna spend that for Aunt May and Uncle Ben. So if you don't know it, exhaust them to discard the top three cards of your deck. Two, if you're not an alter ego, and uh, take each spider card. I don't have many spider cards left, but whatever, we'll see. Yeah, I was gonna say, do how many do you have left? Well, but it gets you through your deck, which is you can't do otherwise. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna flip up. Uh, well, I have to play this right. I mean, have you thought about running um, assess the situation? Let's let's not Just talk get... about my 
terrible deck building, which you know I always have. All right, so I'm going to ready up. I'm going to spend these two to get my Psychic Link in. By the way, I just realized I didn't need you to remove those two threat. Wait, what is my thwart now? Oh, it's three. three. I could have been That's five, just... though, this turn. Yeah, but, but you don't have to spend it now, right? Like... Well, now I spend it to do this. Yeah, see? Well, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff anyway. All right. So I thwart for three. Gets rid of this garbage. Then I get to ready. Well, I let's, say I did, let's say I spider. didn't spend that and I spent garlic, Scarlet Spider instead. Right? Because yeah, now I can you. thwart this down. Pretty, like, five, right? Or, or oh, no, no, no. You should, you should have played Spider-Man because he readies and draws your card. Wait, what? He readies a tech upgrade and draws you a card. But could I have done that? Oh, he's only two. Yes. You should. He basically replaces himself. Okay, so hold on. So wait, this was at what? Ready? Put that back. Mary says she's watching and playing at the same time. Nice, Mary. All right. So I had that, I had this, and I had this in my hand. So what we're saying is I spend this and this. Yes, to play to that. play this. So let's ready, be ready life. something. I mean, it doesn't, whatever. They're all stat ones, so it doesn't matter which one. No, no, no. Oh, that's right. They're, all these. All the tech ones are stats. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because I'm just going to use it for a Draw resource. a card. I draw a card. Oh. Now you have all systems go. <laughs> that seems real good. All systems go seems real good. So it seems better than the justice is served at this point. So now. Well, I mean. Uh, you have all your upgrades out, so it's going to ready everything. So, like, you right. can still justice is served. So that's what I'm saying. So now I'm going to thwart for three off of main. Okay? Then I'm going to all systems go to just ready everything up. Then this one doesn't really do me a whole lot of good, so I'm going to do that to get justice is served. Right? Sure. Then I'm going to ready myself with host spider. Then I'm going to thwart for three to get rid of this garbage. Which gets rid of justice. Oop, that's not the right one. Justice is served yeah. and readies me up. So now, oh, I guess I only need two attack anyway. So all this is just wasted. Wow. Uh, so I got beat. Wait, cop. wait. Don't you have the thing that readies you? Why did you exhaust this? Hold on. Give me a second. Justice, justice serve readies you. No, no, no. I needed to ready myself. Oh, to, initially, yeah, yeah. Initially, yeah, yeah. To, to remove that three threat. Um, I mean, I still think killing Electro is the right call here, right? Or do I just remove four since I can easily? That's your call. Do we care yeah, about Electro? Could... Who's first player? Oh, you're face watching. up. Do you want to get hit by Electro, or would you rather get hit by Hobgoblin? Well, I mean, you're hitting for four, right? Regardless of what well, you're doing? No, I mean, I. it doesn't matter. Yes. Do I hit for four? I could thwart for five off this. I mean, do you just hit, like, Hobgoblin or Scorpion or something, which gets them within killing range next turn? But if we don't kill Electro... I mean, you're going to be discarding seven cards, and then I'm going to be getting hit by Hobgoblin. Which I don't really care about, because I'm... Whatever. So, which... Or, and you don't care, because you're blocking with Silk, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll chop, yeah. So, you don't really care. All right, so I no. think I should remove five. I think that's the best call. Okay. So, that plus that. So, I thwart for two, plus one more from Heroic Intuition, plus... Gives you plus two thwart. Right? I mean, because killing these guys only removes four. Removing five seems better. And I wouldn't even kill one. I would just partially kill one. So it's like, yeah. 
Uh, so Mary's playing at the same time. She says, I put together a Cap Shield leadership deck, and it's been pretty good. Yeah, I, I mean, that is my favorite part about what's going on with this game right now. Did you think they were going to get to the point where there were so many useful affiliations? Yes, it's an LCG, dude. You I would guess. be disappointed if it didn't get to this point. I don't know. Like this would be the this would be the thing. This would be like them not living up to the promise. Okay. Of an expandable card game. I guess like having seen Lord of the Rings, like there's so many well defined archetypes that aren't. It's not like there's one way to even play each one, right? So. I, uh, see, so I have much not. In deck construction. I have not lived so, like, through Lord of the Rings, so I didn't see this before. But yeah. I mean, this, this is this is this is why I'm so big on LCGs, right? It's like my favorite. I guess like genre of board game. It's just like, like when you get to live through it, you get to see the game. Like the game's already pretty good when it first comes out, right? Like I think, like Marvel Champions Core Set, right? It was like, fine. We played it. It was fine. It well, not fine. It was like pretty decent for a game, right? Like with the cards. And right. then every time more cards come out, it just it keeps getting better, right? And it's and uh, which is in a, in a much is... different. Interesting. Much different way than like uh, I think like your standard modular games that just add more variety. Like well, right. That's everything... what I was gonna say. Most of the time, I don't like expansions, but here it just opens up so much every time. And yeah. I think, and I didn't play through Arkham Horror, so I'm probably I'm speaking without a lot of knowledge here. But I think Arkham Horror, because each set is so self-contained, each story is so self-contained. Like now, going back to fight. Galaxy's Most Wanted, which everybody thought was like ridiculously hard or impossible or whatever, would be be fun with all these different like combinations of stuff you could fight it with now. Like I think every LCG is the same like that. Like there's certain cycles that are known to be hard or certain scenarios in cycles like Forgotten Age is known to be super brutal and just power creep and variety and stuff makes it fun, right? Yeah. To go back to stuff that was really challenging before yeah all right so we're gonna add two here um so you're getting a little bit of discussion in the middle because we're not doing one at the end is our thought process because terrence got to get to bed uh all right so we're doing two here and i'll wake up before peter for the first time yeah no i got a 740 swim meet that's 30 minutes from me so i gotta be up early and then i gotta work it too so yes um and then we get dogs in two days right before i leave oh, yeah the, right before i leave how's that how's that time. work I was like, isn't that right for Gen Con? You're and I'm bringing abandoned. my son with me. So literally, it's my wife and my daughter going to be alone with these two dogs, which I feel a little nice. bit terrible about, but whatever. I mean, it's 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 temporary. Okay, so he's going to attack you for one plus. Uh, that's fine. Chump plus two more. Yeah. All right, so somebody draws a card. Take it. That almost decks me. Web trap. Yeah, I don't even care about that. Okay. Um, where are we at? So uh, now your he, your attack. Oh wait, he thwarts against me. Oh no, he attacks me. I am gonna yeah. block with my defense. Did you just not use auto at all last turn? By the way. Shut it, Terrence. I was gonna say you could jump with him, right? Like if you wanted to yeah because and you could cycle your deck there's one card left in your deck okay so let's pretend that i did the right thing which i should have and taken one thread off of this now auto is chumping this because you definitely want him if you can get him again right oh of He's course probably your best uh like non yeah, absolutely ally. one plus one is two that still kills him goes here uh i assume this is only if you do damage and damages you, yeah. No, so it doesn't. Wait, does that mean Electro? Wait, we've been playing this wrong. He didn't damage me, so Electro would have attacked. I chumped, and you chumped. So it's card seven. Move the active encounter to the next villain. But he didn't damage you. No, but it's a, se a separate sentence. Oh yeah. So you still move the encounter to the next thing because it's a separate sentence, right? So after Electro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Electro attacks and damage you, discard the top seven. Then it says move the encounter to the next villain. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that still happens. Yep. 
So this would have moved. He's on Scorpo. Same thing. This would have moved. Man, periods are hard. Mary's... So that, that even happens if he thwarts. Uh, so we, we have a little bit of comment here. Uh, Varden, who I don't think I've seen before, uh, says it's the golden age right now for Marvel. I, I agree. Between the Marvel shows, between the Marvel movies, between Marvel champions, just... Yeah, I mean, I'm not a comic book person. Like, I actually used to watch more Batman and Superman. I don't know if this was the age you grew up in, Terrence, but when I was growing up, uh, like, Superman was on TV, Batman was on TV. But the, Although like, Superman movies, the one like in Niagara Falls, Superman 2. Right, and the Superman and the, and movies the, the were death big. Of Superman in the comics was a big deal. Marvel was nothing when I was growing up. Like it was all bad. I don't know if it Superman. was nothing. It just it was much more comics. But they had the '90s cartoons. For well, me. like the only one I remember, because even the super, uh, what was the one with Batman and Superman together? Super whatever crew, that was DC too. Justice Crew. League. Justice League. That was a comic with Wonder Woman. Like that was yeah, pretty that was big. Justice League. Aquaman. Uh, well, yeah, nobody cared about Aquaman, but whatever. Um. But, like, there was no Marvel stuff except for X-Men. X-Men was the only Marvel stuff that I remember from my growing up. Um, the cartoons, though, right? But those were X-Men. What was... What other cartoons? There was a Spider-Man cartoon. I guess. I, I, I actually don't remember the Spider-Man cartoon, honestly. But... Obviously, it's just me because you feel offended right now. I could hear it in your voice. No, I mean, <laughs> I, it was like it was like when I was a kid. Uh, so it might have been a little because I'm a little bit I'm a few years younger than you. So it might have been a little like after you, you know, after your time kind of thing. Yeah, and I think the X-Men is much more beloved, right? Like they're redoing the X-Men 90s cartoons because it's so iconic. Yes, uh, but they're not like redoing Spider-Man. So X-Men is definitely the more popular of the cartoons from well spider-man's period. got its um into the spider-verse movies right like that's the new beloved like i i i think if you put it out of the spider-man yeah, but, cartoon but, but, but no one talks about the spider-man independent of that uh like they do the 90s x-men cartoon right like that's it's pretty iconic um i mean all the spider-man movies have been really good like well i, I don't know about the amazing spider-man movies i actually thought they were good too like i i think I think actually all is the that Spider-Man. the Garfield one, yeah. But Versus it, the Tobey Maguire. I mean, I like this Toby. That that's what I'm saying. Of the Spider-Man movies, like the Garfield. Is that because Garfield doesn't look like a nerd? I mean, whatever. <laughs> like, but he wasn't supposed to be. He was the Amazing Spider-Man. He wasn't like, well, and his girlfriend was like, uh, what's her name too? It was doesn't look like a nerd to me although i guess she played nerdy in several movies but she definitely didn't look nerdy in into the spider or amazing spider-man movies but whatever uh oh victor von doom reminds us that spider-man and his amazing friends was a thing uh dc was the movies for me spider-man then batman marvel more the tv with incredible hulk oh that's right hulk was the thing growing up uh the bruce uh not bruce banner obviously but uh lou ferrigno i i do remember those hulk shows like that was that before uh, your that, time that's going back <laughs> i mean that was that was my time like i remember the lou ferrigno hulk so i do I, I guess i had a little bit of love for marvel uh from that uh Marvel Saturday morning cartoons. I don't really remember. Then yep. the nineties. I do remember those. I think that's like when the X Men and stuff would air on Saturday mornings. Uh they said you got Spidey and X Men on Fox. I really don't remember the Spider Man yeah, yeah. stuff. Yep. Like that was I, I do remember X Men for sure, but I don't remember the Spider Man stuff. Alright, so going back to Mary, she says I'm loving all the new things for Marvel Champions. She also says I'm super excited for Phoenix after the reveal. Really, I see. I haven't seen the reveal. Although you don't get my first Im- real impressions because I'm playing for the first time at, at Gen Con, so there is that. Um, I mean, rec- you, we could like hand cam record it or something. I mean, so what I'm thinking about doing is putting it on uh, TikTok, like just a quick whatever, 
you know, because they can be up to three minutes. Actually, I think it can go up to 10 minutes now, but I'm not doing that. So I'm thinking TikTok will be my Gen Con, like, if you want to, like, do a vlog of what I'm doing at Gen Con. Now, I say this now, and I might not do it at all, but, you know, if you follow our TikTok, you may get some content. Or just go to our Discord, because I'll probably post it there as well. Um, uh, Mary says, yes, she remembers those X-Men Saturday mornings. Uh, and Victor says, yeah, Bill, Billy Bixby was sadly into piano music. Wait, what? I don't even... Frigno is a real Hulk, says uh, Bahamut. All right, so now we got some talk going. See? Nobody wants to watch us play Marvel Ch- Champions. They just want, they just to, want talk. to hear us talk about stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just random crap. That's what I'm saying. People, people don't want the stream. They just want they just want the uh, podcast that we're not doing. Well, and but here's the other thing, Terrence. We did this. We talked about... Um, what was it? WandaVision. We just had a whole episode where we were just talking crap about WandaVision and nobody watched that crap. So there is that. Like, which still might be the best series of of the um of all of them. For me, it's WandaVision. If Loki didn't have that I really like Hawkeye. I really like Hawkeye. Hawkeye was really good. Um yeah, if there wasn't that last... Hawkeye was the one with the most action. For sure. Well, it was also just more... It was just the most lighthearted one, too, out of all of them, too. Yeah, a lot of them have gotten... Uh... <laughs> Daniel says he's here for the wiggle wiggle. I like the way you wiggle wiggle. Faux show. <laughs> uh, Bahamut says the game That's is... That's my friend is who's laid downstairs excuse... right now. Oh, okay. Uh, Bahamut says uh, the game is the excuse for all hanging out and chatting. Well, I'm glad we got the chat going again, at least, because it, it had been silent for so long while we were playing through. Um, so now, look, there, there's actually more people watching now than ever. Like, like it picked up since we stopped playing. Like, more people started watching. So apparently people come here for the BS, much more so than uh, they come here for watching us actually play Marvel Well, we aren't, we aren't losing enough. I think that's that's the, the real reason. I mean, not, these, not heroes, we're winning. these heroes are so good right like they're both i mean you, you so can always good. play ronin let's go back and should we that. do that should we play venom goblin or ronin and just like put her ourselves... I mean, out, out of campaign they're more manageable on both fronts yeah yeah if you don't have venom suit and uh that extra card draw at the beginning yeah we didn't beat have we beat uh venom goblin on stream upstream off we stream. did it off stream of course like Literally, we did it off stream. We're like, we got this, and then we went on stream and lost three times in a row. Like, I was like, oh, well. Knowing how hard Venom Goblin was, I think after we went, I was just like, too bad we didn't record that. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, no, because we totally dominated it, and we're like, oh, this will be easy. Let's just play tomorrow, and we did. We got our butt handed to us three times in a row. All right, should we keep going? Draw my card. Yeah, draw my card. Yeah, let's. I was just like, well, where are we? Draw Draw card. I don't know. Here you go. Here you go. If Web Warrior doesn't play, discard an upgrade or support I control. Of course you would. I think I downtime. will do downtime. Yeah, for sure. So I, it's not it's, it's, even a choice. The villain schemes. I'm glad we care? focused on the main scheme. We don't care. Even a little bit. So it's zero plus zero. <laughs> I mean. Really? But this still moves, right? Because it says move the active encounter. No, 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 no. That's attacking, dude. It's The star is only next to attacking. Oh, I see. Yeah. Come on, Terrence. Yeah, Let's so, go. Yeah. All right. Kill this guy. So I'm first player? Yeah, kill this guy. I mean, you don't want to see me kill guys. I mean, I could use I could web, twit, web I, trap. I could twit flip them. I mean, I, I could web trap. I mean, do we want to rapid deploy and just F up the main scheme that way? I mean, that's that's how we win. Do you want to win? All right, Terrence. I, I, I'm, I'm sensing some... Uh, all right, so I'm going to Aunt May first. Oh, no, there's only one card left. Do I do that? I mean, it's certainly not a spider card, I don't think. And even if it is, who cares? So I do that? Ah, screw it. I'm doing it. Nope. That's my third B cup. All right. Thank you for drawing me an extra you. encounter card. Um, all right. So I am going to... Oh, did I want to shuffle stuff in, though? Hold on. 
I probably should have all systems go before I did that, right? Sure, you can do that. I don't care. Yeah, all right. We'll just leave this there and pretend I didn't get this beat cop. We know it's a beat cop. Um, yeah, no, I should all systems go first to get that back in my deck. That would have been stupid. All right. Um, so let's see. Uh, for fun, I'm going to attack for two. Or do you have this two? Do I have what? Two attack. For two? Just sitting around for nothing. I'll, I'll I mean, do I'll do it. No, but. Okay. All right. So that's the two. Easy enough. All right. Move four. Then I'll ready myself. Oh, why is this exhausted? Because you readied yourself just now. Was I exhausted? What was I exhausted for? You literally just said, and I ready myself and exhausted it. Oh, but I never now. did ready myself. Okay. Um, uh, Web trap. Do you want me to kill this dude? Or you got him? I don't care. If you want to kill him, that's fine with me. Uh, I could do five and stun somebody. I mean, do you want to just kill him, Hobgoblin at this point? Sure. I'm killing Hobgoblin. Or do you want me to kill Karn? Okay. Either way. All right. Here. Are you not? Yeah, just You kill have Karn. overkill, right? I, I do have overkill. Here's four. You have fun with that. All right. Then I'm going to spend this and counterintelligence because I just don't care to web trap and do five and stun the that, that's on hob right yeah. yeah and stunned then I'm going to all systems go to just ready all my stuff because it's ridiculous oh I still have beat cop by the way B cop's gonna be what like kills this. Uh, all right, so then uh, I can remove three from two different things. That seems like something I'm doing. So I'll use my defense one. And I'll use myself to remove three from two different things. I mean, do we just remove six? That's how we win, right? I feel like I heard you say that recently. That is how we win. By the way, I still haven't readied myself either. So let's go ahead and, oh, dang it. I'm not ready. Ready myself and I'll attack for four, killing Hob. <laughs> and removing four more. I think you can handle the tooth right there. I got, I got Hobie Brown, Punk okay. Spider. Okay, now I'm going to use Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Oops, I don't know how that got over there. Uh, to draw that last card and shuffle it all up oh wait a minute B cop wait do you have somebody that does one or only two i mean i have two all right i'll i'll, I'll take one off of me go ahead with i mean me. no i i have spider-man and spider-man does two spider-man does three yeah he oh, does three. Does that's two. what i'm saying i'm leaving that at two for you oh okay are we flipping it now i mean if you want why not all right, let's do it. All right, so we remove two here for center up. When the last thread is removed, resolve ambush. So there's that. So we do have to add two, which is kind of weird because I assume you flip it first. No, it's got two again, and you can never, ever beat this side. That's weird, actually, right? Is that wrong? When the last thread is removed from scheme, resolve ambush. But then ambush says... In expert mode, place two thread on light at the end. So that means it's not defeated? Like, it's literally not possible to beat this? Is that like a... Something that... that would be... No, I feel like I just went wrong. Come on. <laughs> so so you're not even acknowledging the fact that that could be a possibility that they did something wrong there? No, because that's an infinite loop. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think they did it wrong. I think they screwed up there. We're going to add two here. But it says then flip this card, right? Oh, no, it says flip this card. Yeah, it's like, I, I think they screwed that up. I think it should have been, I don't know. I think it's a probably mistake because it's not expert. It's not written for expert. Right. It's clearly not written for expert because, like, the adding to threat seems like an add-on. But, yes, 
theoretically, this is an infinite loop that you could never, ever win on expert. But whatever. We're not worrying about that. Okay. So uh, I am done. Okay. Um, I guess I'll tack for four on Karn. So three overkill. Who do you want to do it to? Uh, we just do it to Scorpion, right? Okay. And then... I feel like th uh, flip flips a waste at this point. <laughs> By the way, you've even held on to I don't think so this entire game, and it's not even been useful. Like this is how bad we're killing this scenario. Uh, do Are we I super lucky? I feel like this scenario is not as easy as it feels like tonight. I think it's that easy. Uh, one. All these. All right, we'll win in the next two turns. We'll just focus on it. Put Spider Man out. Sure. Do I even good play? I... That's a good one. I. Because you can't even cancel the stuff you want to cancel, right? Uh, well, they haven't reshuffled. There's two cards left to reshuffle, though. I'm about to deck again. <laughs> I think I'm just going to play this now. I feel like I've held on to it long Plus enough. Plus three hit points? Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man's going to... If you hit him, you could hit him again, and he'd be dead, and then remove... Yeah, but, then, he, but, he, but then we have the stun. Touche. So do I do two, two, three? Yeah, I can drop this thwart. guy down to one. No, you just thwart this twice. Dude, why are we right. worried about this guy? Just thwart it twice. Right, let's thwart. Ready, thwart for three. Um, So thwart for two, thwart for three. So five total. So it's down to 22. Yeah. yeah, let's just win this, right? Uh, you cannot win unless they escape. When the last throw is removed from this scheme, players escape and win the game. Yeah, we just win now, right? All right, let's 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 yeah. stop wasting the people's time. Uh, how many cards do I draw? I draw three. <laughs> uh, I do not have the good Spider-Man. I have the other... I have, oh, I got Venom, though. <laughs> but I don't have... Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the... Uh, all systems go at the same time. Okay, where are we at? Uh, so we had two to the main. God, we haven't even decked yet. That's ridiculous. All right. Uh, so oh wait, 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 I forgot to to um thwart with Nor for three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that just gives us a chance to win this turn. I I feel like we're winning this turn. Okay. Um. So we're attacking here. I don't know. Do you want to chump with something so we can draw more? Spider Man. Cards? Okay. So it's one plus two more. So it's nothing. All right, so Who wants when Spider-Man leaves play, discard top three cards. Deal damage to the villain equal to the number of boost cards. Wait, no, no, so no, but he didn't that's... deal damage to you. Damage is you. No, no, no this one, Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, there's only one card. That's lame. Well, it does two to somebody. Who do you want to do two to? Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, do you want the card? Should I take the card? What do you want? It's up to you, man. I got Venom, card. and I got two Spider-Men. I, I would take like the card, the card actually, because I would like to get uh my thing where I get that ready, all my crap. All systems go? Yeah. Seems good, right? So can yeah. I get it? Yes. I mean, Web Trap's not terrible either. Okay. Uh, so all right, so this moves. Yep. Oh, he's stunned. Wait, why do I have a card? Oh, did I deck? I did deck. Wait. I chump for you, and then he's stunned against me. Yep. And then goes back. And no, it doesn't go back because he's stunned. So he never oh, activates. Yeah. Um, Your thing? So I'm Your first card. player. Yep. Let's do this. Do you have... Uh, I don't think so. What? Do you want damage to each character you control? 
Uh, each inheritor gains retaliate when revealed. If one word character is in play, deal one damage to each character you control, which is me. Yep. Okay. I don't care about that at all. Oh, hey. Plus one attack. Take two damage. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, your hero, the villain with the highest activation order value, attacks you with plus X attack attack of all the other villains so he attacks you for four hold on hold on what are you doing what are you taking it are you chumping or what are you doing you said we're winning this turn right so yeah you're that's what you told it? me okay are, are we not yeah we should be right i mean these okay. guys don't block so that's seven four plus two wait three Four, four plus five, two, six. six. It's all about the maths, Terrence. Uh, so Veridin says as soon as you drop to zero, it triggers. But it's such a weird, like that means it's literally an infinite loop. So it's literally. Can I draw another card? Because it decked me. That's okay. cool. Okay. Yep. Each inheritor gains villainous. Well, this will be terrible if we don't kill them all this turn. So cool. you, get... you got this. You got this, dude. You also have two minions. Yeah. No. Don't don't change the order, Terrence. Uh, so you're first player. So you got this. 19 threat. You can do it. Do I, though? All I have is, like, whip whip, I think. Uh, let's see. So I can do what you thwarf. You have ham it up. Oh, just do anything with thwart remo threat removal. Well, and if you can kill somebody with thwip, thwip or with a uh, spider with this six damage kills him, right? So if you I remove more both. threat by attacking, then attack. That's six. That's four threat removal. If you can do four more damage, that's another seven. So that's 11. That's 11. 11 brought down to eight. Yeah, I mean, then I could kill it without even doing anything, without even playing the card. <laughs> okay. Um. So one, two, three, I guess. For six. All right, so that's dead. So that's four off. So yeah, if you can do four uh, damage. Well, yeah, you don't even need anything to do four damage. That's another four. So that's seven more. What does it say? Seven instead. All right, so three off of that. Do you want a card? Or you want me to draw? I don't care. It Take literally doesn't matter. So what did you just do? You thwarted for three? Take a card. Yep. Thwart for two. Uh, wait. Does Web of Life and Destiny anytime? Oh, yep. wow. Yeah. Uh, right. Two for Spider-Man. Two more off. And then three for Spider-Ham. So you just win yourself. Wait, wait, wait. We forgot to get the extra card, by the way. Oh, yeah. Attach villain with the Sorry. highest. Yeah, they were dead. <laughs> All right. So that that's game. All right. So there was some chat I missed. Uh, though, is Ronin still the hardest modular? Um, so they must have been talking about Kree Fanatic. Yeah, it's just terrible in every way, Bahamut says. Uh, he's still pretty mean, but there are harder ones. I haven't played against it in so long. I can't remember. Yeah, Ronan's pretty terrible. Like, he's just terrible because he's villainous and has, like, tons of health. And, uh, I mean, you just have to... St I mean, Thwip Thwip makes him not as terrible. So, I don't know. So, you think Sinister Six is easy? Or do you think we're just overpowered? I don't know if it's easy. Uh, I don't think... we just think... got lucky? I... No, I mean, I think these are... These are gonna... I know Spider Hands is considered super strong. In the card pool, I love Spider. Um, I mean, with Spider, yeah, Spider Ham's considered really strong. I think Spider's considered just a cut below Spider Ham. Oh wait a minute, power curve. My beat cop kills uh, Morgan over here. There we go. 
I'm going to beat Kapu. I haven't even been building the whole game because I haven't been paying attention. Um, I mean, I think Web Warriors as a whole are super strong. Web yes. Life and Destiny, the alleys are very good. Um, flip Flip is like, I think Web Warriors have made protection insanely good. Yeah, I mean, like Spider Suit, um, like, like if I do nothing else on my turn, once I'm built up, and I don't even have to be built up across the board. Once I'm partially built up, every turn innately without any other things, I get to thwart for four, right? So I thwart for four, then I can ready myself, then I can attack for four. Every turn with doing nothing else, I can do that innately once I'm built up. And if I get something like this, then I thwart for five, or if it's aggression, you attack for five. I mean, it's just it's so good. Like, I don't know. That's literally without doing anything else. I can do that. <sighs> yes. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I think these decks are good, and I think... But I still have fun. Like, this is a fun scenario. Like, there was always a lot of... Even though we beat it pretty handily... I still felt like there were choices to make every turn. Did you feel the same? Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like we didn't get screwed by, like you can definitely get screwed in an early game by the plus attack cards, like just the sequence of them. Or getting rid of upgrade grades early. Or like I said, I had 15 cards left and I had three of my four upgrades or whatever. Like it can definitely go the opposite way. We get zero of your four upgrades early. But I feel like then you just use your uh, whatever's to go search for them. So I feel like it's a little more consistent, although it's clearly better to draw them in your hand. And maybe you, so have, you have to spend to pay. Some... Well, so you don't have to pay and then pay again, right? But then I, I still feel like you can even spend some time on Alter Ego side and just draw two more cards a turn too. Like that's something I didn't need to take advantage of. Clearly, it's better once you have your upgrades to be on your um, your hero side. That way, you're getting to use those upgrades every turn to you know do whatever with them. But I feel like it is a very viable alternative to stay alter ego for a while and just keep drawing cards till you get what you need. Um, as long as you got somebody with you to help you out with that. I mean, Spider yeah. has seven resources turn one. Six cards and her pilot card, right? Now you're double exhausted then. But, so you start, you use this maintenance alter ego action to draw two cards. So that exhausts this. Then you flip over and you use Spider, like the pilot interface, as a free wild resource. So you're starting with seven resources on turn one. Minimum. Assuming you don't draw double resources. Now, after that, it, it goes down, but it's pretty good. I feel like most of your favorite heroes are Build mech heroes? suit building heroes. Yeah. Like mech, even like the mech heroes specifically, right? Like you were, yeah. you were a big fan of Iron Man. You're a big fan of Iron Heart. You're a big fan of Spider. And Venom. And Venom. Yeah. Well, Venom's not a mech. Suit not a hero. mech, but but build up hero for sure. Um, I like mechs. I can't. I gotta be honest. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I also I think Spider is my new favorite hero. I, I think number it moved up to number one. How many times have you said that when a new hero's come out? You're right, but Ve I mean Venom and Spider are still at the top. I'll be uh, like. I keep saying I'll be honest tonight. I've been drinking too much, but um, like Iron Man was not one of my favorite heroes early on. I grew to like Iron Man, but I, I do like build up heroes because I do like um, Black Widow is still one of my favorite heroes. I don't know. I just love the options. There's uh, For me, there's no hero that gives you as many options as Spider or the Spider suit or whatever you want to call it. Nobody gives you as many options. Now, I feel like you can get screwed if you're not getting upgrades early. But 
I don't know. I, I feel like I always have so many fun options on my turn. And I like that puzzly nature of heroes. And then when you're built up, like I said, you innately do eight things. I don't think anybody else innately does eight things without playing a card. Right? Like, that just seems super good. Well, I mean, that's her kit. Right. So that's, what... that's neat to her. Yes. I mean, the trade the trade off, though, is like you have less options in your hand. So, so other heroes, like every other hero basically relies, except Hulk, obviously, and other stuff. But like most heroes rely on having the options from your deck. Well, so and remember, one of my least favorite heroes is Miss Marvel. Now, by the way, great show. Watch the show for sure. But she is one of my least favorite heroes in the game because um, she, like, all her options are in her hand. Like, I don't feel like she does a lot on the board. Now, she builds up her alter ego side quite a bit, but then you got to flip, and she's not great at removing thread or doing anything else. So, like, flipping is dangerous for her as well. I don't know. Like she's, she's my, one of the best heroes in the game. I know, and she's one of my least favorite heroes. Because she doesn't I, build ha, up. I feel like you haven't gone back to her very much, though, to be fair. I haven't. You're right. I like the build-up, though. I, I think I like... I think I like the build-up. She I, has a lot of build-up. She is not a fast hero. She isn't? Yeah. I mean, no, I went she has back tons to of supports and stuff and, like, upgrades that, like, you have... The polymer suit you have in Biggin, you have shrink, oh, you true. have yeah. three supports that you put out, um, and then like I, I feel like she actually has tons of choices because it's just like every attack or thwart defense card you play, yeah, you, pull it back. you have the choice of whether to pull. Do you pull this card back or not? Right, like yeah. Um, so she actually has. It's different, but she has actually like a lot. I think a lot, almost every hero they have a decent number of choices. Like it's not like they're on autopilot, right? So. Yeah. Um, uh, which cards do you, you know... Uh, I, I think she blends herself off to a lot of like interesting deck-building options because of it. Because the fact that Embiggen and Shrink change the value of cards, right? So, like, cards like First Hit, for instance, in Protection, like, oh, you pay one, you do two, two damage to a minion. Doesn't seem that great, right? But you get to do it before the minion attacks. But if you can Embiggen that, for four that changes yeah. the value of that card and so she yeah. does that that no other hero can right um hone technique and miss marvel right like you get to do the stuff but then like you talk about overkill like she also gets to boost it by another two and so that's even better right so she definitely changes she she definitely changes the value of every single card in the game yeah no you're right you're right and she has a little bit of what these other heroes do, but you have to spend resources to do, to play those cards. Although I just played Gamora, which was kind of fun also where she just like Gamora. My, my biggest complaint about Gamora is why is her stuff limited to once per turn? Like, so when she plays an attack event, she removes a threat. When she plays a thwart event, she removes a, whatever, uh, uh, she gets to attack for one. I just wish that wasn't limited to once a turn. I get it that they I kind of want to play balanced. fluid motion, fluid motion with Gamora. Which one's that? Fluid motion. It's the one where, like, for every attack event, you get plus one attack. Oh, well, that's the same as her sword too, then. No, no, like it, it gives her plus one attack to her stat to the end of the phase. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. And so, and she has like, you know, like zero cost attack events and it's not red cards. It's literally any attack event. So, well, I built shove... her with all attack. So my, so you, my, my Gamora is yeah. all attack. Uh, Cause I still feel like she's better at attack because the sword gives her plus one attack for her attack events too. And that is not limited to once per, per turn. Um, so I built her it's... even with the extra cards out of, um, out of aspect, they were all attack cards. Like, I had justice attack cards. I had, uh, I forget. Well, you know, the one that confuses them. So that I could still, like, flip if I wanted to. So we've we've got a couple of uh, of cheers here for Spider. 
We got uh, Vernon said Spider is so powerful. And then Mary says Spider is ridiculous in how she can subvert any expectations you have based on her hand size. Yes. When I first saw her hand size, I was like, the, why did they do this again? Like, I was so mad that they did it again after they did it with Hulk and Thor and everybody else. And I was like, why are they doing this again? Like, going to start crap and maybe get better over time. But no. She, Spider is amazing from day one. I, th I mean, Thor was pretty good at day one, too, just not in solo. Well, yeah. Mary says Concussive Blow is the card I was thinking of that I played with uh, with my... Uh, I don't remember the last time Gamora. I played Concussive Blow. Well, don't forget, she gets two free resources, wild resources, that go with Attack or Thwart. And I played uh, Aggression... So I have the one that gives me the free fist also. So Concussive Blow is a great, like, three and Confuse, like, in an aggression deck. Like, why not? For, you know, basically free if you use all your cards, but. Oh, and it's not just three, it's four because your sword, and then it removes a thread also. And Confuses. Yeah, it just seems good. Um you know, in, in the deck that I put it in. But anyway, you'll get to see it at uh Kana Heroes. I'll bring her with me. She's the one that Kana also Heroes died. Ray on... happened. Huh? Kana I... Heroes Ray happened. Yeah, you know what I mean, Gen Con. Whatevs. Um but she yeah, she is the one that died turn one to Thanos though. So there is that. <laughs> so I feel like when you pull up a four boost against Thanos, like what are you gonna do? Especially when you've already yeah. defended that turn. Like, not even on just a normal attack. It's, like, on the... I mean, do you just run protection for defense events? And then just put attack cards in from other aspects? I mean, you could. But, like, that's not what makes her special, you know? It makes her survivable. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out how to make Hawkeye survivable. I love Hawkeye, but I feel like he's way under the power curve at this point. I just I was just playing um Shield Hawkeye. That was pretty good. I mean I just played it the, earlier this week. Hawkeye's great if you live. Like Hawkeye can I mean do. Shield Hawkeye lets you flip down, um, gets you card draw one way or another. Uh you're able to thwart pretty decent, which he sucks at, so it shores up a weakness. And then you're able to basically because Mockingbird is shield traded, government liaison uh, you know, helps uh, lower the cost of her by one over and over. Well, I had a deck if you remember that I tried to run the gauntlet with, like a while ago, that basically brought Mockingbird back for free every turn. Um, once it built up, of course. Yeah, but like you, you get you get to play you get to play Helicarrier for cheaper. Government liaison, bringing her back in with Sky Destroyer puts two damage in every turn. Yeah, so I think Shield Hawkeye is actually pretty pretty good. Mary made fun of me because I said I was announcing that I'll be at Kana Heroes 2023. I am not. That's not like even confirm you're going to come next year, right? I mean, guys, I can't even tell you what I'm doing next week, except for this next week, which is going to Gen Con. I mean, Con, you told me you're going to Gen Con. By the way, I still don't have tickets for Gen Con. In case anybody's wondering, I still do not have tickets. And my son and I are Wait, if you don't have one. tickets, can you go to the can you go to the press event? Like, do you need a badge to do the learn and teach for FFG? No, 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 because they, they reached out to us and asked us to come. So so you don't even need a Gen Con badge to do that. I mean, I have to get in the hall because we have to meet them at their booth, but yes. Okay, so you do need a badge. So I do need a badge, So, but I, I literally do not have a badge at this point. Um, uh, because I'm still waiting that. for Gen Con to try to give me a badge for, like, not for I feel, free. I feel, like you're, I feel like you're running out of dates here, Peter. Well, no, because they don't. They're not going to sell out. You can buy it at the door. I'm gonna. I am gonna buy ahead of time. But like, I'm still. Do, waiting. You don't want. You don't want to wait for that. I'm I feel like I'm like, still waiting for Gen Con I, to wake up and give us a badge. Like we've literally been reached out to by almost every publisher, including Asthma Day and CGE and um, AEG and like every big publisher at Gen Con has reached out to us and asked us to come cover their stuff. And Gen Con is not giving us a media badge. Like, how ridiculous is that? Like I'm pissed, but whatever. Like that's that's a story I, for another day. It's just worth it for me to not have to wait in that line to get a badge for a will call. 
That thing's terrible. Well, it is what it is. I, I mean, I don't, I don't care about that. Like, I'm pissed that they're not recognizing. And here's the thing: they never rejected us. They just never responded to our emails and requests. Basically, like that's the worst part about it. It's like they totally ignored it. And Gen Con is sending me emails all the time, telling me, "Hey, check out these events at Gen Con." But they haven't given me a press. Just you're, on, you're just on the mailing list. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm on the mailing list. I'm on the mailing list for every publisher, apparently, because they're all reaching out to us. And yet Gen Con has not given us a badge. Oh, uh, now, now I'm now I'm fired up. Terrence, you, you hit a hot button with me. Like, I get it. I, they need to I, make I feel money. like Mary's the one that that got you on this hot topic. I guess. I don't know. Like, yeah, that pisses me off. Anyway, whatever. Like, and again, I I would even pay for a press badge. I just want to have the press badge so, like, people know who the heck I am if they don't know me when I go there. Yeah. Yeah. It's Luckily, I'm okay being a plebe. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I'm even bringing my son. Like, so I'm buying two tickets, which is fine. Like I said, I haven't bought them yet because I'm still hoping they'll come to their senses. And maybe somebody from Gen Con is watching this or everybody out there yell at Gen Con for not giving us our press badges or media badges, whatever. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. So anyway, that's, uh, I'm, I'm off my soapbox. Um, but yes, Marvel champions, fun, good. Uh, <laughs> like, I love these new heroes. Like, so do you yeah, think, it, do you, so is it power yeah. creep that makes me, or is it, so do you think it's power creep that's making me love all the new heroes or do you think it's um because i'll be honest i i do like ironheart i do like um whatchamacallit i never got in i never fell in love with uh who's the one that goes uh like invisible uh vision i never fell in love with vision like i don't know i i like the new heroes but I mean, is it is it cult of the new, or is it because they're just maybe power creep, or is it just because maybe you're Sonic Connor Heroes High? Maybe, but I mean, I'm on a my daughter loves playing Marvel Champions now. My son plays Marvel Champions now. I got to work on my wife, but when, everybody else. Yeah, when's your wife? When's your wife so you can get that good, super long family four player game? I mean, the big problem with my wife is that she is an early to bed person which I am clearly not because it's 1230 in the morning now. Uh, but by nine o'clock, she's ready for bed. But she's up at like four or five in the morning. And I am not functional until about 10 in the morning, even though I get up early. Like I'm not functional. So like we have very few hours where we're both functional at the same time is is the problem. Like I, we like playing games together. We love playing games before we had kids. Um, but it's just there's just no energy at the same time at this point. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, guess to answer your question, I do think the heroes are, you know, strong. Um, the kits are interesting, uh, but that I feel like that's always been true. But you know, like they definitely, they're still keeping it fresh, which is fun. Um, uh, I think fleshing out, uh, not just one, but kind of two, two traits or factions. Um much more solidly like so shield and web warriors is, sh- shield and web warriors and um and then a little bit more more champions as well right so like i think like in the before like one the the weak points was like you just had avenger and then kind of guardians you know yeah guardians wasn't um, nearly it, as good as avengers like avengers was like the one yeah, yeah. and now uh, we've got but it, you know like I, in this I would argue cycle. that like web warriors is more fleshed out than guardians right like oh, what makes sure. guardians special um and even even champions and uh, shield, you know, like I think like like everything's kind of exponential with LCGs. Like I was telling you, I feel like when we first started this stream, like I feel like once the train gets going, it goes and it goes. You get a lot more mileage for like kind of every pack, right? Yeah. Because you get to see how it fits into the entire existing card pool. And so I think that's where like you know I like we talk about Miss Marvel. Like I think there are certain heroes that are just gonna be exponentially better as the, as you know the card pool grows right and um miss marvel's one of those heroes uh and you know like just all the combinations and the fact that you have all this stuff i think just makes it 
it just makes like construction games in this ever expanding format i think just hit a really special spot for me so like one of the exciting things about this is i think you not having been through this but like kind of going through the first time and kind of having those moments that i had uh like you know like eight years ago with right? lord of the of rings just, like, yeah with lord of the rings um yeah. i mean i did some magic but i wasn't like like I, you know i was a kid i didn't have the disposable income to afford well, magic at that magic. same pace yeah i mean i had all the good stuff by the way which i just gave away like i didn't ever ever have a mox but i had all the early dual lands and all that stuff like yeah but it, it, it's like basically that like living in the game while it's growing like i was a little late to lord of the rings but i got experience the bulk of it um yeah and i didn't get to arkham nearly as much but i got to see it um a little bit uh but yeah i mean getting the ground floor of an lcg and kind of watching it grow i think is one of the uh, for me, like one of the coolest kind of things. Uh, and by the way, I got Lord of the Rings movie. when it first came out. And I got the first few cycles. And it just, it never stuck for me. For whatever reason. I like it more now, but I think it's easier for me now because I've played so much Marvel that even though there's a lot of differences with Lord of the Rings, it's it makes more sense now. Like they they mesh. Like like there's enough... well, same design like a lot of the shared design space too right, right. like caleb but i Nate. think they, they they made marvel way more accessible to me at least anyway like i got the concepts from day one whereas lord of the rings i didn't i even feel like if they came out with marvel first it's just a more accessible game a more easily understandable game yeah you just couldn't get to marvel or even arkham without lord of the rings first right because lord of the rings came out in an era of magic yeah. of like how can you do a cooperative card game? Is it possible and will it sell? I feel like were the things that they were trying to solve. Uh, and you have to admit, like, you know, like you play Magic, right? Like Magic is not a simple game, you know, no. like rules wise either, well, but, right? But so, it like, was, and I feel the same way about Keyforge. Like these games all start simple. Like set one is actually pretty straightforward. They don't have a lot well, I just of mean like the they magic rule book, like the, questions. the number of phases per turn is actually a lot in Magic. Well, if you consider the interrupt phases, like you can interrupt before you do this, you can interrupt before you do that, but you have to yeah, remember. Yeah, there's upkeep on the second phase and no, all that stuff. No, but you have stuff, to remember right? like... when Magic first came out, they didn't have a lot of those effects. That came over time. Magic was pretty straightforward when it first came out because they didn't have all these interrupt windows. I mean, blue was always there, I guess. So there was a little bit yeah, of that. Blue. But blue is my favorite color so oh, see, I was I all about hate blue. I, I was all about those phases but you feel like a dick when you play it but it like it's cool when you play it but it's just like that's why i think i love the co-op things because it you feel awesome and you don't feel bad you know well you that's why like um by the way that's why black widow is one of my favorite first of all she just is in general i love the concept of like she's almost a ninja right she's like an assassin she disguises herself as whatever like she's not doing like i'm surprised you don't like ghost spider more because i feel like she is a different way to have a similar I... vibe of reacting on the enemy phase well remember you played ghost spider through our campaign so i just haven't played ghost spider a lot um when i played ghost spider... time between now and end of september well i i think ghost spider the only time i ever played her was the pre-con I don't think I've ever constructed a deck for Ghost Spider. I think I literally played her pre-con. I played about 50 things wrong, as many people pointed out in my uh, <laughs> my first play. By the way, if you're watching a first play and impressions video to like get a good first play, like it's the wrong spot to watch it. I guarantee the best players at Marvel Champions will get a hero wrong the first time they play her. And that's what I did. Like I got a lot of stuff wrong. Um, it wasn't so bad that I need to redo the video, but I just, I wasn't seeing the combos when they first came out because again, I'm experiencing them for the first time as I'm playing. That's one of the fun parts about it to me is you get to see me fumble through it. But, um, and so uh, for me, miles was just much more straightforward. And so I glommed onto him and I said, you play ghost spider. I couldn't get her. Um, and I never went back to her. I've literally never played her again. So yeah, I don't think I've played anything but that first play in Impressions video of her. It's unfortunate. She's like easily top five, if not top three for me. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of But she's of probably not as diverse. But um, her play style is just super fun because it's a, it's reactive, but it feels less static than Black Widow. Um, and then I think yeah. George changes the game, right? Like being able to hold cards is really changes a lot. Yeah. Like 
Uh, it actually enables, for instance, the whole like flip cards to be really valuable because you can now hold them, and okay. then you don't like need to have like a bunch of them to try to recur them. And she doesn't have to flip all the time, but you can now like hold like your yeah. you know like those cards, and now it becomes a thing that oh yeah, like I'll flip down to do this thing, and then I'll flip up, and I can use this cool effect, right? By the way, I just lied because I did, and I always do play the pre-con heroes through the campaign. So I did play her through the entire campaign, but I played her again pre-con. I've ne- I don't think I've still ever built a deck for her, um, but I did play okay. her pre-con. I've only played two pre-cons in my life. Oh, and one of them was on stream last week or two weeks ago. And the other one was at Gen Con 2019. <laughs> when the first game, when game first came out. All right. So last yeah, comment. No, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, actually I had a third pre-con when you sent, I think the box to colin during con of the rings i think that was the other time i played pre-con pre-con uh well we might be playing a pre-con at, at uh gen con right if you're gonna play one of the two uh new heroes they're probably not gonna be constructed so there you go you're about to play another one um so mary says when i came to lord of the rings really late so i didn't get a chance to watch it grow it's been a lot of fun being able to watch marvel champions grow yes i i agree and yeah, the living, the living, the living card game part of LCG, I think, is an important a thing that makes it extra fun versus a static card pool. And I've spent a lot of money on this game, probably more money than I spend on most games. But I've it's under a thousand at this still, right? But I've gotten so much value out of it. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to calculate. And that's no... that's what I keep telling people. I feel like a lot of people get really kind of dissuaded of how expensive an lcg is but it is i think it's easily if it's a thing that you enjoy it's easily worth there's nothing that can come close to what this experience i think of that kind of stuff but i think there aren't better games but it's just like there's nothing like watching this thing grow yeah well and i do think there is a, a limit right there are people who just don't have enough money to keep up with everything that's come out and I do feel like to some degree, as you said, every pack brings something new, but that means you have to have owned all the packs before it. So I, I do think that is a negative. Um, it, it's hard to get into these things. And actually, they're going back for Lord of the Rings and revisiting how easy it is to get in and making it easier for people. So I do think that's a good thing. But but there is that fact. You almost have to be in it from the beginning so to because to get in at this point like and spend all that money all at once it's a lot it's certainly a lot so are a lot of kickstarters i hear but well, uh touche and, and uh, there's way yeah. more value here way more like you can put in so much time this game is so much more replayable than gloomhaven's 100 scenarios or whatever no question in my mind every scenario here feels different but you definitely get a lot more content out of the hundred dollars in gloomhaven like, it, oh, like the value of Bloomhaven, yes. that's true. Yeah, the value Touché. of Bloomhaven is, I think, like broke open, like kind of ruined. I think like lots of other pricing on many other games. I think Bloomhaven is definitely the anomaly there. Uh, Although I'll say Osworn, I'd rather get at this point, um, even if you get the standee version and almost. Per- I did get, I did get my entire copy. So I, like when I told you I got it the other day, I only got one of the two boxes. Okay. Um. But like the, I didn't get the mystery chest boxes. I guess they came the next day. Um, okay. But so well, I have it all now. The villains, all by the way, so you can't play without those. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they're still all in shrink for me. So I haven't opened anything up yet. Um, just because we're about to go to Gen Con, I got. Well, we'll play it at Gen stuff. Con. I'm bringing it. And I'm bringing like the first three mystery boxes, so we could play against up to three different villains when we go there. And honestly, you could, um, what you call it too, a uh, proxy once you get past that like i mean you have enough you just pretend it's somebody else like the cards are all in the base box you just need the miniatures for the for the other stuff but yeah i'm not bringing the terrain i'm not bringing the uh, but three bosses like everything else will either proxy or whatever we'll make it work i have the uh the cardboard train did come so i do have that we we, we will the cardboard have... train yeah, no, we're not playing with the 3D train. I'm not carrying an entire box that's almost as big oh, as the, the cardboard box train. Okay. To uh, just bring the plastic stand, you know, terrain. Like, yeah, I think one of the exciting things for me is like, I didn't, I, like, I was interested in Osworn, but I didn't get really interested until we demoed it. We did that demo. It's at so Gen Con good. 
a last so Gen Con, right? Good. And so it's kind of funny to like come back and be like, Gen Con's back again for me at least like i didn't go last year because it was kind of like a weird gen con last year right uh but like to be like yep it's finally out <laughs> you know like like three years later when well, i'm well that's gen con. Ev- i mean it is a big it's worth it i will say and we did said it in our review they did everything right every aspect is right they gave you the story if you wanted you could read it with the books they did the same thing with the app you don't need the books that's literally the only thing you're taking out like, it's not like there's gameplay stuff or whatever. Like, it, they just walk you through the story part. And if the story part's too much for you, which it is for me, they give you a condensed version of the story where you're not making as many choices. But let's be honest, I don't think those choices are that interesting. I know some people do and a lot of people do, but I don't. So they give you a condensed story which you can, like, speed through that part and get to the fun part, which is the fighting part. So, like, like, yeah, it, it just, uh, I, th- I thought that was, like, right. one of the great things that, madara did was to have the cliff notes of every single thing if you didn't want to read their like novella between each chapter yeah so i mean that was smart um all right terrence i know you've got something at 5 a.m and it's 12 40 right now so yeah we should probably get it's 11 40 for me because i'm an hour behind but still early but yeah you you need to get going i need to be up and out the door at 7 a.m eastern time you need to be out the door at uh, I guess 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Eastern. Eastern time. Yep. So yeah, time time for bed. But thank you All for right. joining us, everybody. We love you guys. We love the chat we have every week. I know we don't always, um, we can't always be 100% engaged because we're trying to play a game at the same time. But we love having you. We're so grateful you come out every week. And uh, we'll see you soon. No, no stream next week, but expect to hear at least some discussion of the new stuff the following week because we will have played it by that point. And if you're a Gen Con, reach out to us. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.